Well, hey, y'all. Welcome on back. I don't know if you caught the last couple of days, but we had a rip rolling good time with some guests. Things got a little bit crazy. We killed a celebrity. But uh, I hope nobody dies in that. Kevin, what you got for us? <laughs> yeah, that's quite a weekend to follow up for that. I'd have to kill uh, I'd have to kill half of the people that are here today to outdo those shows. So I don't plan on doing that. Um, no, if you guys want to make us famous, uh, do something suicidal this evening. But uh, <laughs> other than that, thank you, Marty, for the introduction. Uh, we are one short tonight, so the introductions will take a little less time. Uh, starting all by himself on the top row over there, uh, Ryan playing Baptiste. And then on the bottom row, we have Sarah playing Miss Alice. We have Sky playing Jet. And because he's a, a grave digging undertaker, and you got to keep them in the corner because you can't trust them. Uh, Lesamax playing Lucius. <laughs> he also never trust a man who wears a top hat. He's after something, <laughs> probably your money. <laughs> and with that, why don't you guys, we'll get right into it tonight. We're going to, we're just going to dive down here because why don't you guys grab your three chips and put them on your sheets okay. while I explain what the people missed that they weren't here last week. You know, I like to keep these short and this week they're really short because Miss Ellie Ooh. is off dealing uh, with a uh, an uncle in a bar who might be the bar who did some stuff with her brother who may or may not have been horrible and may or may not have worked out but she's got to figure that out we're going to do that next week when uh, Hannah is back to play the part the rest of you um, in a town full of weird and strange people hiding things the blacksmith uh, Jenny has uh, drawn your attention in a number of ways for being a little extra sketchy. Other than that, your quest log is surprisingly small because there's whatever's up with her. There's the ghost rock mountain that is still on fire. There is the ghost train, which is still in the tent city. And oh yeah, Baphomet is returning. So with that, on that happy thought, let's go down the rabbit hole, back to our very own poisoned paradise. At the end of last week, as I remember it, we were all in the, uh, back in the saloon, saloon number one. Thank you. Oh, yay. Awesome. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Uh, oh, I know. Yeah, I did just look and saw how that was. Thank you. Good to see you back. Um, you guys were uh, back at saloon number one. Ooh, except for Ellie. She's not there. Let's make her disappear. <laughs> Poof, just like that, she's gone. Uh, you guys had accomplished a bunch in that day. You had almost, um, I'll, I'll say, almost broken into Jenny's basement. Uh, almost called her out as a flat liar right to her face. And Miss Alice, to be fair, has had a bit of a chip on her shoulder regarding Jenny since the day they walked into town. So Sweet. It was a whole thing. <laughs> you There's got an Anastasia. Reason for it. You also got a Jenny. I'll <laughs> say. So, I believe we ended with a night's rest. And for the first time in a very long time, except for one of our members. We didn't end on a cliffhanger. So morning comes, breakfast is served. Bacon, eggs, pancakes, hash browns, the works. Milk, drinks as necessary, coffees, yep, whatever you need. Uh, you guys have been here long enough now that you don't even need to ask. Your own personalized plates come down. Whatever it is you normally eat on Thursdays, that's what's on the table today. I do need to ask one thing, though. Absolutely. Did I sleep through the night? Because I haven't asked that in a long time. <laughs> you have slept through the last several nights. Nice. I will take it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Whatever that means. <laughs> With that, um, just to remind me, how wounded? Speaking of uh, speaking of jet, how wounded are you still? 
I'm pretty good. I fixed up. I've got a light on my both of my arms uh, that was there since last time. So if that goes away overnight, then I'm good. But I don't yeah, remember one one automatically overnight. And, sorry to the uh, sorry to Pinnacle who spent a lot of time on the rule book. I know that's not the rules, but <laughs> yeah. and yep. every day I bug him. So you do you need some medical attention? I I think is it one per location or one wound period. Uh, for I mean, I for remember. this purposes, these are the ones that you uh, did to yourself to heal, right? So yeah, mm -hmm. those are any ones that you did for that are gone the next morning. We're good then. Yeah. All right then. But yes, two nights uninterrupted. You go, yeah, this is wonderful. I'm sure it's not, not an omen of any kind. <laughs> uh, here's some milk. Uh, <laughs> 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 so, breakfast is served. Your um, the host uh, puts the plates down and scurries away, knowing that you guys like to discuss things at breakfast, and she wants to leave you the space to do so. I think we're becoming a little too comfortable here. What do you mean? And I sit my mug down in the ring where it's already settled <laughs> in. <laughs> As the waitress, like, gives our, our, the same thing, you know, taking no money from us. Yeah. Alice is like pushing at her food. Like, I mean, they still can't get an eggs Benedict, right? <laughs> it is better than it was, but they do simply do not have the equipment and the skills. They don't have a personal chef is what this boils down to. And you grew up with one. So yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, and as soon as you Look. and, uh, as soon as you and uh, Mr. Comfort start your sales program, you'll be back to having Ooh. one again. Look, all I'm saying is that eventually, like, like do, do we want to stay here or do we want to go Hell out? Hell no. Exactly. So I just feel that we're being a little too comfortable in this town of paradise. I mean, if any town needs help, it's this one. That's the only reason I've been here as long as I've been. Well, I believe that we had been discussing one way to help the town is dealing with this Baphomet situation. And I thought that one of the, the main course of action we'd talked about was uh, riding out to meet him on our terms instead of here, where innocence or would get hurt. Speaking of which actually um i get all the daggers out that i made so mm. yep. one for everyone um you already have one baptiste for me earlier from that little bible i got i gave you nah. uh, i have one for ellie but i haven't been able to find her anybody seen her no. uh she uh when you guys went back to the um uh to the saloon last night she did not go with you she said, I've got something to do and turned and walked down the street towards uh, the newly rebuilt and finally finished. Finally, took like two days. Uh, the, the, the finally finished um, uh, end of the line bar, which is now exactly like it was, except it's got Anastasia's uh, Canadian adventures attached to one side, which is almost done. Uh, I have a feeling I know where she is, and uh, I have a feeling she might be a while. Uh, uh, we also still, even if we do leave and go deal with Bahamut, we still have the problem of that mountain up there. And if that mountain up there explodes, riding out of here to save all these innocent lives isn't really going to do much good because they're going to die anyway. How do we stop a natural disaster? Look at, look at Pompeii. Uh, and I look to Baptiste, I'm like, you know, you, of your vocation, do you have any idea why something of that unholy of a nature would even exist? Uh, is this something I should make a check for first? Um, 
I mean, as a, a given your background, uh, it would be stunning if you didn't know that Baphomet was one of the names used by various um, religions, including the one you were part of, okay. uh, to refer to at the very least a devil, if not the devil. Okay. I'm not aware of the particulars of this situation, having not been up there or present when the things all got started. But I can tell you that, uh, I mean, Baphomet is one of the lords of principalities of hell. If we're able to deal with that, there's a chance that mountain might take care of itself. I, I'm not making a promise that it will, but well, it's not going to hurt. And so, if we can kill a prince of hell, then I'm sure it'll be a little easier to form a fire brigade. So is that what we're going with? We just leave it and hope that it works out. I can try to get to the heart of the matter if you really want me to, but I ain't saying I'm looking forward to anything like that. Perhaps, uh, uh, Father, you haven't seen it yet, right? Would you like to the check it out? It, yeah, it, it does have some strange, well, it's it's paranormal at best. I'd say, in the inside. Does the blacksmith lady, she needs another day to finish everything we'd asked for? It'll be done by the end of today, is what she told you, yeah. If we want to head out early after breakfast, I don't think that that's a day poorly spent. But, I mean, Miss Alice, I understand your concern, but either way, we're going to have to pull the trigger on one or the other. We deal with the mountain and allow Baphomet to show up here. We deal with Baphomet and hope things are fine, and we deal with the mountain once we're finished. They're both bad choices. I would love to blow up the mountain. <laughs> I thought it <laughs> sounds like the mountain may blow up itself. <laughs> Personally, if we could, if we could... so did not expect the Sky to play the. I want to blow everything up with dynamite character. I love it. <laughs> you got to blow it up for justice. For justice. Um, I mean, if we... I didn't realize there was a warrant out on the mountain. Yeah, there is. <laughs> and so speaking that of day, which, Crimes of justice. justice now does exist as a one-shot. I just don't have any time to run it. <laughs> Look, the mountain is evil. I've been in there. I have felt it. It is not fun. Ergo, blowing it up is a deed of good in my eyes, so. Well, let's leave it to the professional who who, was, who um, makes it uh, his duty to find out what's good and evil in the spiritual sense. Oh, well, if it's evil, well, I'll take a look-see, but now there is something to be said about a professional. Uh, this town is full of miners, and my understanding is if there's a fire in a mine and you can collapse a portion of it, well, that'll snuff it out. I don't know if it'll work in this situation, but it seems to me that we might be able to ask, uh, oh, what was his name? Any of them out there? Mm -hmm. Yeah, the whole tent city is full of miners. Well, it's, and it's we really have no idea what the current state of it is, seeing as how we haven't been up there in, um, what, you know, like the a week? Thing. I'm wondering. Now... Lucius, not today. I don't want to waste our time, but I was wondering if you could construct a mechanism, just a, a, a metal cylinder, maybe within a second metal cylinder, so that I could place my morning's coffee inside of it, and it somehow thermally remained hot throughout the day. I think that might be a $10 idea. Brilliant. Uh do you consult in science a bit? <sighs> Thermal science? I had it no. until I looked at Kevin. I could hold it until I looked at Kevin. Oh, no. I'm, just, <laughs> I'm going through the list of things this game has invented before their time. 
<laughs> we just added but, the thermos cup to it. Oh, oh if you make it out of ghost rock, it's so self-heating. Much I wanna do. Oh. <laughs> Miss Alice, if we took the day to put a pair of eyes or four pairs of eyes on the mountain, would it make you feel better? I mean, putting eyes on it doesn't really matter if we can't come up with a plan, but I do think we at least need to check on the current status of it before we leave so that we can, if we don't deal with it before we leave, we can at least inform someone of the current situation before we do. Well, fantastic. Now, if you excuse me, damn prostate. And he walks out to an outhouse. <laughs> When you officially know you have become your character. <laughs> <laughs> My prostate's bugging me. I have to go. <laughs> no, it's just a little prostate play. That's all. <laughs> so about, and... about going to kill this mountain. I'll do it. <laughs> Uh, I envision the jet sitting there with the explosive container of ghost rock shrapnel sort of sticking out of his belt. <laughs> as soon I'd as we like started talking play. about this, he pulled dynamite out and laid it on the table, right? Yeah, like, he's now sitting there staring at it. I don't own any. I got to go pick up more after that last event I'm kind of weird about. <laughs> Just carrying now it around. Yeah, that's right. You don't have dynamite. You have this weird double pump explosive grenade stuff. Which I with would ghost say steel I'm, shrapnel in it. With ghost steel shrapnel, yeah. You're, Did we make you're making it? IEDs. I, there, oh, great. There's another thing to add to the list of things we're inventing in this game. <laughs> no, we didn't. We just made the one and tested it. <laughs> hmm. Interesting. Speaking of which, I mean, I wanted to ask Beth just a question. But is he back? <laughs> he's going to be a while. No, I, I pee at the speed of plot. <laughs> okay but for real catapult oh, you're back. thing at this time <laughs> so instead of throwing it we can make a catapult and catapult that shit <laughs> at Bobo. I mean yeah how good are you at building catapults oh I guess God. there's only you one way to something? find out it's simple mechanics yeah. yeah, but you know, these explode and we kind they of explode twice, to... Jet. They explode <laughs> twice. It, that's double the fun. So, I smell... double still, every time he's doing this, everybody's kind of going, say. I smelled lavender that morning. <laughs> Was that you? That's the smell of justice. <laughs> it's canon. Now justice I got to do another one. Like shot. Thank you. Uh... Justice cried that day. I didn't know I was playing a really weird paladin in this world. But here we are. <laughs> the self-harming paladin. Okay, wait a minute. Anyway, anyway, I, had I don't a remember seeing that one in the manual. What did I do? Uh, in your professional opinion, um, what do you know about warding evil spirits? With a symbol, perhaps? Well, um, keeping evil from uh, interacting with a certain individual, most easily myself, is well within my wheelhouse, and trying to banish one out of an individual is something I do unfortunately have some experience with. Um, the symbol of the cross, silver for whatever reason, ghost rock as well, Seems to have a bit, packs a bit more of a punch. What but if we had a cross made out of ghost rock? It almost seems wrong. Uh, <laughs> Maybe for both, man. I'm just saying, like, if we could make just some minor accessories or even some cross, a bracelet, a necklace, just for minor protection. I don't have time to make armor, unfortunately. That would take an immense amount of time. But maybe perhaps making just something simple and small to ward something simple, simple spirits. 
Well, I'd certainly be able to, I'd be happy to spend the time with that and say a couple of blessings, do a couple of rites, but that, that level of creation, I mean, it's not quick. So if we're going to go and check on what's happening at the mountain, I don't know that that's on the table. There's We've got a idea. day. Well, I think it's a lovely idea. It's just ultimately which of the plans do we want to implement? Weird. It's almost like someone thought of this and I'm nudging my ghost steel badge so that the light is just barely kicking in Lucius's eyes. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. But I made knives too. So that's okay, fair. So, can I think of everything. <laughs> Look, I say we go up to the mountain, get that out of the way, and then well, tomorrow we do whatever we got to do with our friend out and wherever he is. And you do you do all have ghost steel knives from me, so that we'll have to do for now. Something close, something that will work and protect you for now. So, so. So we finish up breakfast and head on out. I reckon we should. See enough. Uh, Miss Ellie has not returned. Uh, and um, yeah, they clear away breakfast. Uh, there is again, no question of asking you to pay your bill. That's it's covered. Nobody's ever told you, but it's covered. Uh, they just don't charge uh, you anymore. Um, and you go out. Uh, yep. I was just gonna say, I read a letter. It's like, could you deliver this to Ellie, just Lady Ellie, just to tell her where we're at? Keep us posted. Uh, I'll slide it under her door. Thank you. And let her know. And you guys head out, get your horses, I'm assuming, and Fantastic. head up the hill to the mine, which is easily done. Um, it's only been the sort of a, a fairly short period of time, a couple of days, but you notice there is not a single blade of grass growing in this area that was destroyed when the train came down. Uh, if you remember way, way back, it was determined that this soil is basically um, uh, uh, desecrated. That's the word I was looking for. Yeah, this soil is, is not going to uh, continue to produce for a while at least. Uh, but you it know, I can't a... help but notice there's not a single blade of grass around as we ride. It seems to line up where the incident with the train happened. It's almost as if the land itself was desecrated. What an astute observation, Baptiste. <laughs> I'm so glad that you are with us on this journey. I'm, punch, I'm punchy tonight. I'm punchy. <laughs> it's so good. I think we all are. Uh, I look at it for a it's almost Sneaky like a role play brought to you by Mercs of Mystery. <laughs> <laughs> it almost that. looks like an invitation. I think Baptiste had too much salt with his breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> my sodium, Miss Alice, my sodium. <laughs> he has not taken his natural glycerin <laughs> tablets either. Which on the bright Can side means he won't explode if he coughs. But uh, anyway, well, yes, yeah, because you Jet guys steals all this. of my nitroglycerin. <laughs> Hey. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <listen. laughs> Damn it, Jet. <laughs> Small explosions happen in the background. What? I don't know what you're talking about. This is raining it back in. Yeah, yeah, you have to keep pulling Rebecca back because she could be up there in a blink. Oh no, she I meant me. Oh, I you're meant, all yeah. beat. Yeah. I meant these weird side tangents that I'm doing. I apologize. It's all good. I apologize. We're playing silly games, man. It doesn't we we're serious so much of the time. <laughs> that if we are a little funny once in a while, I think it's okay. And Karis agrees, that's all that matters. So <laughs> let's continue on up through the desolation that gets wider and wider as you get close to that, that area again. And again, you come up and up and up and then tip over the top into that little clearing. The clearing is as it was since the train came through it. There was the wreckage of that big cross of the two ties that were there that had the guy tied on them all those years, decades, centuries ago. Um, those are splintered and gone where the rails were, have been ripped out of the ground. The hole into the cave is 12 by 12. So it's as big as it was the last time you were here. There is a, maybe a slightly more smoke coming out than there was before, now that you're real close, but not a lot. 
Alice says, well, the good news is the hole hasn't gotten any larger, as it seemed to have done every other time that we've come up on this damn mountain. Yeah, well. And we should all now be on the ghost rock mine uh, page. I'd still be careful, and I tie my bandana around my nose. Mm -hmm. and it also is the same with a like a handkerchief. Find a handkerchief and do the same. They're ready, my my scythe. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Which way do I turn it to get it to? Whoa! Who? Who? I should put something on me that shows me which way that points when it comes out. <laughs> 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 Safety dot, like on a spray can of raid, so you don't shoot yourself in the eyes. Right. Um, <laughs> Anyway, there are uh, lanterns and a torch there if you guys uh, want to take them as light sources. Uh, with have you a lantern. peeking in, uh, just using the light that's available, plus you're sort of shining the torches, and you see it appears to be like it was last time. So as you're looking down the tunnel, the left side is all honeycombed with these hallways that go off into, dis into unknown dark distances. To the right, there appears to be only one entrance right near you, and you know from experience that that, open, that doesn't open up again until it gets all the way down the far end of the tunnel. And what you guys determined last time you were here is that's because of the concentration of ghost rock is much higher on one side. So they took everything out except for enough towers to keep it vertical. Whereas on the other side, there wasn't that much ghost rock, so they followed the vein. Um, um, has, uh, you, you've been down this way before. I suppose whoever feels more comfortable leading the expedition you can uh, go ahead and move your uh move your tokens well, you see fit. oh lucius is already <laughs> did you do I that guess on I'll, purpose no, I, no oh, I, just I guess i'll go oh, i no, guess wait, no, no, i'll I'm sorry. there's two uh, of you i have to make the other one of you go away you shouldn't be up there well sorry, uh, I there's a the paradox there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now lucius's secret is out damn it oh god he's da, twins da, da. even Before he didn't know before I'll go in here, though, because there's just this moment, because I remember how it is going down in here. Yes. I'm going to go out into the dirt of the clearing and just with the tip of my boot kind of try my best to draw something that resembles that moon lily. And I'm just going to okay. say a tiny little prayer. And I don't know if it's really a prayer. I'm not really sure what that would be. I'm just being like, uh, going back in here, just letting you know. And then I'm going to turn around and uh, walk in. Just before you do, oh. you think of that flower and it you scrape that spot with your heel. And as you pull your heel away, there it is. Just tiny, just as small as it was before. And it's all flattened out like it was before. But this time it pops up itself. She, and you look around and she's not here. She didn't prick that up. And you get the feeling you did that. But then when you say, I'm going in here, it wilts, falls to the ground, and disappears. Mm. Oh, good omens. And then it's it's off. I'm I'm off to the mine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll I'll pull up. Wait. So I'm looking at the map. I see the little coffin token, and yeah. then there's a lamp that's further in. Uh, that's me. Yeah, Alice is further in there. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. Out. You got to put your token on top of the lantern if you want people to see you. It is on my screen. Oh, I don't know. I got nothing. All right. You should also be able to see, no matter which one's on the bottom, you should be able to see the name tags because there's no name tags on the, uh, there shouldn't be name tags on the lanterns. I got you. Yeah. Cool. So you guys I'm just in. keeping beside whoever's going. Yeah. Everything is the uh, the same as it was last time you were in here with one small difference. There's uh, on the floor in front of you, there's a very, very fine sooty ash. And there's a bit of a draft coming from the back of the cave. Same as there was before, because if you remember, Alistair is back there mm -hmm. and there's ghost rock smoke is coming out of his nose. That's what, eyes and mouth. That's what I'm heading to. Okay. The very strange thing about this ghost rock, it's brittle, if I recall. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very easy I, to powder. I, yeah. And I, I tell this to the group again, reminding them that. Uh, 
As you get ah. closer to the back, you start to hear the that flow that you know is the the smoke coming out of Alistair. And I don't believe any of you can get close enough to see it yet. I can see your light sources. So, uh, yeah, Miss Alice, as you get to there, this is where the black on the ground is. This is where mm -hmm. that black obsidian sort of blends onto the ground and sort of this glassy finish. And yeah, as soon as you get close, the first thing you see just picks out the highlights of Alistair's screaming face and his fingertips. Uh, it, for a second, it almost looks like that classic uh, horror trope of the person coming through the rubber screen. <clears throat> their mouth open and their fingers spread. Uh, it kind of looks like that, but in black on black. So it's really freaky. Um, off to your left, as the rest of you approach, there's those stalactites and stalagmites that are internally burning. And the ones that are hanging from the ceiling, the stalagmite, stalactites sorry uh they are uh burning enough now so that every once in a while it's almost like a drop of wax drops from one of them onto the stalagmite mm -hmm. below it so alice looks at baptiste and have you ever seen anything like that before talking about alan campbell uh, so what do we so what do we see as far as alan campbell's concerned i can see he's he in there is, on the uh, map yeah, um, consider uh, basically uh, Han Solo in the block of carbon. <clears throat> that okay. one coming oh, out of him, except in obsidian, and where his eyes, nose, mouth, and ears were, there are now holes in the obsidian, and there's ghost rock smoke emitting from them. And I believe he has okay. horns as well. Yes, oh, yeah, large, curved back, demonic sort of. Horns. And isn't and it his the, face the, is, his the skin train? is pulled back and there, there's the shape of the, the yeah, obsidian the on the shape wall. The is the shape of the outline of that uh, of the train? Yeah. Okay. Uh, I mean, I, I, I don't, I don't know if I have seen that kind of thing before. Whether you want to tell me if I have, or if I want to roll for something to have experienced. Um, it. I mean, give me. What would that be? Faith. You knowledge. know what, you've got, I'm just going to give you like an age roll, uh, and you're old, so just uh, do the keep one and do 4d12 for me. Just straight up roll 4d12. Oh, I got to think yeah, of how to this is do sort this of, now. You've been around for a long time, you've heard a lot of weird stuff. Four. No, not 14, come on, computer. Wishful thinking. 2d14s? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty well, good. I um, do seem to recall <laughs> one time when, and my southern jaw turns strangely Canadian when I tell this story. Please <laughs> bear with me. Yes. Oh, that, that was my cue. <laughs> I completely missed that. Oh, wow. Yeah. Back to used one. to improv. Don't anymore. Uh, <laughs> Uh, the key yeah. line again. You have um, you have one experience with this before. It was um, it was a very magical night out, and it was also very impaired. Out. And one of your friends, uh, you later determined, did something like poked a hole in time, and for just a second there was this little bead of this material sitting mm -hmm. on the table in front of you. Mm -hmm. And it sucked three beers off the table before it quickly closed on itself and slammed shut. Okay. So, so, yeah, I mean, well, it was quite a while back, but I don't, I don't know if you are familiar with any of the exploits of uh, Mr. Sam Houston, but there was one evening where something like this found itself in a much, much smaller, all a concentration and even that wrought a little bit of destructive power at least on half a six pack it did this much of it well i don't envy mr campbell's last few moments i'll tell you that much um and i'll actually shoot a look to lucius and just like shrug and the like well this isn't gonna do any good and he'll actually bring out one of the little you know, pocket Bibles and like 
give last sure. rights. It's half-hearted, but okay. Yep. Yep. Sure. That makes um, sense. Um, once he's you done, get, yep. Alice, is... you get the impression that it's it's sort of bouncing off. Like it's just it's not getting through this surface to whatever's behind it. Hmm. The last time that we were up here, Miss Ellie put a hand on it. And it pulled her hand in. And when her hand came out, she was covered in, her, her fingers were covered in ghost rock. Luckily, something was protecting her. Well, I mean, I suppose you give a mouse a cookie and I'll touch it. Uh, give me <laughs> yeah fair enough I mean you, you would wouldn't you um, <laughs> y'all are jumping all ahead of this so I'll just let y'all do it and then I'll get in when I do <laughs> man the sweet release of death yeah Alice is give thinking me, I'm look, just, give me just so a tired death, please. if Baptiste wants a sweet release of death I'm thinking we lure Baphomet into this thing and blow it up and him with it what am I doing? I'm just doing a, a straight deafness. A uh, straight deafness, yeah. Because you're you're kind of like I don't know if I and then pff, the fingers start to go through the surface. So, all right, uh, ten. Sounds, yeah, like you. Um, it's not bad. You expect. In, I mean, it looks solid. It's it's obsidian. As foolish as that thing you saw all those years ago, you were real drunk and oh damn it! And you look down and on just on the pad of each of your fingers and on the end of your thumb. There's a tiny little circle of ghost rock, like a like the size of the tip of a pool cue, just sitting on each one of them. And it hurts. I won't make you take any damage, but it hurts. And they're burned, like they're burning in. Well, hell. <laughs> uh, I ain't the kind of I ain't the kind of idiot that needs to touch the stove twice. Do you, do you need a medic? Uh, no, it's just like you ever, you ever had a, I heard a story once about some young fool put his tongue against a really cold pole in the middle of winter, sort of like yeah. that. Yep. Yeah. And as you say that, you sort of reach down and pull it one. It's like, yeah, that's, yeah, it's going to be like taking off bandage, but it's going to take the skin on those little spots. Mm. I, I was trying to warn you not to touch it, but that seems to have had the opposite effect. <laughs> I'm but just that's gonna, okay. Miss Alice I'm doesn't just, understand men at all. <laughs> Miss Alice, I appreciate it, but we don't now have a data point of two. <laughs> that's <I'm> just, <laughs> that is accurate. I'm just gonna get these bandages ready just in case you bleed out. Well, this it's is not bleeding, interest. is it? Right? It's just no. It's like no. it's like really bad freezer burn all of a sudden. It is exactly oh. like putting your tongue on the pole, and the only way to take it off because there's no you don't have a friend around with warm water. You have to go, eh, and it kind of takes the, the, the first sort of sure. What would be the epidermis, or there's yeah, not even the whole dermis, just the epidermis. Yeah. Yeah, or yes. you've got some really good calluses now on the fingertips. <laughs> yeah. I can play the guitar. So he will after better. his heels. Yeah. <laughs> don't even need a pick. Um, uh, Jet, and the I, second, yeah, go ahead. Oh, do you already know what I'm trying to do? No, go ahead. Let me know what you're gonna do. Oh, uh, I well, I'm first. I'm gonna look over at Baptiste and be like, Father, um, I had another idea, but do you have anything you can do per se to, um, I guess, bless me, maybe protect me from uh, any undue harm? Because I, I might do what you just did, but maybe with a little more efficiency well it's actually kind of uh, jet um just so you know uh, before you do anything you have mm -hmm. zero connection with raven in here i know that but my powers don't if well i guess we haven't figured that out yet but i'm pretty sure i have power that is not raven right it's still like have i determined I'll, at this point that my powers all i will are say is you haven't tried any of your magic in this cave do I get a, the time to find out? Do I get a sense that Alan, whatever he is right now, is it a living? Th is it what, with any reasonable reasonable thought, I would think of as a creature, or not? 
Give me a faith check. All right. That's kind of what I do. Hopefully it's good. I'm going to roll a one. Not a one. Success. There is on the other side of this rock, separated from you by the thinnest of barriers, but apparently impenetrable, however thin it is. There is what former you would have called a soul just on the other side of this rock face. I don't really, the vagaries of this situation, I don't have much to protect you um, proactively, but I may be able to help out as far as making you feel better or heal things up reactively should you do what, well, I was kind of hoping you'd try to do at least. It's little comfort, but it's the best I get. If you choose not to, I don't. I think we'd all understand. And that last piece is genuine. It's genuine. <laughs> so Baptiste doesn't share the thing about the soul on the other side of the wall? It doesn't seem pertinent to what he asked. Uh, yeah. Jet, yeah. do you have any um, little bits? Do you still have little bits of uh, your ghost steel shrapnel? I'm sure I got some in the, oh, there it is in my pocket. Just, Great. Just, <laughs> just give me the longest piece you can. I just, uh, I just want to test something. Okay. I take some tweezers from my kit and then I just mm -hmm. like kind of poke it against the obsidian to see how it reacts with the ghost steel. The ghost steel itself goes through with zero resistance. As soon as the tweezers touch the surface, they come out covered in ghost rock. And the ends are now sort of welded together with ghost rock. But the ghost rock piece, completely unfazed. Interesting. Oh, my God. Make me some ghost rock armor, please. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have time. I just told you I don't have time for that right now. Oh my God, like, uh, just roll on the ghost rock. There's, there's plenty. This, this won't kill me from cancer for years. You don't suppose that this is a portal, perhaps? Uh, you know, there's only one way to really find out, and I'm gonna step up to it, and I'm maybe gonna not grab him. First. I'm gonna grab him. I'm gonna say, no, 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 no. Just, just I'm maybe just not give him a slap first. I was like, doing my own hand. I'm, I'm, do, I'm doing <laughs> like two people. Like, like, no, no, no. And what I was going, you use your hand. You maybe use your off hand. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm walking through because I'm certainly not gonna just shove my face in it. I was gonna walk well. like. I know well, I have to walk with the intention to pass. So I was just going to walk with like one arm for, but here's where Kevin tells me that didn't work. No, no. Here's the question. Um, okay. To at least two, two and a half, I think is probably a fair, get, a fair number here. Try to stop you. No, you no. And careful. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You said careful. The other two physically tried to grab your arms. Mm -hmm. You have a choice here. You can just, and they have no chance to stop you. And you start taking five win per turn now. Mm -hmm. Or you try and fight away from the two of them. Because if you don't, if you don't vape, you're going to have to fight the risk because they're trying to stop you. Please, can we not call it vaping? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's a, that's a that hard out. pass. That's a hard pass on that. <laughs> Do you Don't vape, bro? <laughs> anyway, so um, as much as I want to just be, uh, just go ahead and phase away from them, if they try to grab me, I'm just going to shake them off and be like, "What? we have to do it. Like, well, th there is also a lot more of this cave. Now, if this goes sideways, Jet, I mean, we don't know. Your hand could just completely disappear or... Whatever. I mean, maybe this is what we deal with after Baphomet, and it remains its own little quagmire for the time being. Let's exactly. Let's not be too hasty just yet. I. I <laughs> Perhaps we can make, as you said, ghost. No, he's gonna do it. I <laughs> look <laughs> at him. I what? swear to God. What is the what is the like uh what is the deception check in this game? Bluff. Be bluff, yeah. 
Do I uh, have? To? I don't have. God. I don't have any bluff. The bro. next time, so I'm gonna be make one D smarts minus one, four. So one D six <laughs> minus four. So versus or what? It's versus or what? Versus two. 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 But I'm doing it physically because what I'm doing is yeah. I'm like, all right, all right, and I'm crossing my arms and I'm just leaning back. <laughs> What do I roll for indifference? <laughs> the best part with indifference is you don't have to roll. <laughs> oh, okay. No, just no. I have a firm grip on his collar. <laughs> well, you don't if he uh, turns into his insubstantial self. Uh, but uh, he is trying to bluff. To The counter to bluff is... Uh, Remind me the next time to make go steal um, rope if I have to the next time for you. Test the wheels. There it is. Uh, scrutinize. So you got to beat a two with your scrutinize roll to see that he's thinking of doing something. Oh, what scrutinize? Scrutinize. Yep, the two of you. Oh, okay. Give me a second. Oh, well, Alice is going to know. <laughs> She she probably shouldn't even have had to roll. She knows you. <laughs> I already said it. <laughs> where, where's scru- sorry, where's scrutinize again? It's been a while. It's under uh, smart. It's so right at the top column. near cognition. Smarts near cognition. Um so Ow. once since I did my can I can I do a check to see if I can grab it grab the collar of his shirt as he's leaning back? You can yes, try to. It. I'm about it. I'm telling both of y'all it won't matter. Give me a deafness check. And she's going to... Um... What? Damn it. You just figure out... You, you, uh, Lucius, you're thinking, he's he's kind of like sidling. He's slowly <laughs> sidling sideways. He's... And by that point, Miss Alice reaches out and grabs the back of your collar. And she says, she says, you can go, but you need to leave that damn explosion stuff so that if you get stuck in there, That's we can room. still fight by that the was a bit. <laughs> That was a that was that was a paragraph. <laughs> that that's in my room. Also, it doesn't matter because as I was leaning back, I was already doing it. So, so like yeah. I just probably go. <laughs> you close your hand on his collar. His collar just turns to mist in your hand because I'm not allowed to use the other word. Uh, it turns to a a, a, a thick billowing mm-hmm. mist. Uh, I, but you can still see him perfectly clearly. But your hand just goes right through the collar. She says, and "Son of a." Son what of you, a bitch. What are you doing? I just, I'm I mean, leaning into the wall. Like I fell back into the wall. I should not what? have gone head first. But <laughs> no, you shouldn't. You kind of cringe and you stay. Um, Wait, th- are you falling into the wall or into the Alan Campbell portal I'm thing? Specific, well, Alan Campbell, if I'm correct, tell me if I'm wrong, Kevin, is kind of in the front and then there's yep. a wall kind of around him. Uh, okay. going, so you're falling wall? into the thing that I touched. Yes, essentially. And so you're okay. going just to be okay. perfectly clear. You're going into the obsidian, right? Yep. Okay. Head That's first. No. Yep. <laughs> backwards. Backwards. Head first. Yep. You uh, you stumble through backwards, and the first double sensation that you get it is twofold. It is scorching heat. You're not taking damage, but you can feel this is like the in literally oven level heat. Like 450 degrees kind of hot and a red and black flickering in every direction you look around and below you spread out is a world of fire and basalt and obsidian and rivers of blood and piles of bodies and crawling half alive wretches and one winged birds trying to fly off of trees that are trying to eat them as they do so. And everywhere you look, it's just one thing worse after another lake of fire with people in it, lake of shit with people in it, lake of burning shit with people in it. Just everywhere you look, it's worse and worse and worse and worse and worse. And I'm we're looking a- down out of hell. Is Alan Campbell <laughs> can, frozen Can I make a, a guts check to I wish up? you would. Guts or faith, your choice. Well, how are you going to survive this? Are we going to get our first shaken? I I don't I don't need no faith here. Like, you so got, you got some extra stuff to add dis- to this. Oh, shit. 
I'm doing guts. Oof. Yes, this is perfect. <laughs> yep. And you have, uh, you got a plus three to this, I think, because of all your stuff, uh, all your different abilities, but still, that's... I just want to throw up on hell. <laughs> yeah, you, um, you go to do that, but there's no physical, there's nothing physical to, to come up. You're not there. So you've now taken 10 wind. Uh -huh. You've been here cool. two rounds. You stagger around and it is just, I mean, it's too much. I would like you, what is your, what is your scrutinize currently? My scrutinize is a, it's one D six. Okay. I would like you to roll one D four, please. Keep Oof. one because there is only one, but. Yeah, uh, you bend over to, and it's like the worst dry heave in your life because there's nothing to move. And after a couple of seconds, your eyes are watering, your nose is running, the, the heat is starting. You're getting the physical effects of the heat. It's just no damage because you're not here. But you look up and you sort of stumble back and you look and you've lost the door. You are just floating above infinite evil. He was my friend. <laughs> uh, um, so well, from our side, he just Yeah, what's going on on our side of there? Because that sounds awful, but yeah. we might not know. Yeah. No, he goes oh. through and he's gone. Nothing changes. All right, well, I'm... Can, can, can... can... Y'all can't Jet, do nothing. You get uh, okay. you get the very strong suspicion bordering on a certainty that if you rematerialize here, you're going to turn into a cinder. Yeah. So the moment I see that, there's like a flicker of panic, and just in this moment of uncertainty, because I don't I'm not a man of God. At this point, I'm more mm -hmm. of a man of the spirit world than anything else. So the only thing I do is I just reach down and put my hand, because I assume it's still on me. I assume it didn't fall off, even though it's ghost steel. And I just put yeah. my hand on my badge and just kind of clutch on that for like some semblance of like. As, as soon as he disappears, Alice is trying to do the thing. She's trying to, she's trying to, Find, see if she can find him. You try, and immediately it's like he's not even like what you're looking for isn't here. And you quickly just check. You sort of look around at the other ones and go, "I could." Like you don't go into their heads, but it's like I could and I could. But I can feel that like I could like. It, it's like he's not here to do it too. Okay. So now, this is an important time to mention. At the very end of last session, I did, around Jet's wrist, I tied a string made of ghost rock and metagaming. Yep. So, uh, yep. <laughs> I was like, where was I for this? Yeah. I was going, I was, can, is that hypothetical? He's, he's still stressed out. His, his, uh, his internet's starting to stutter. That's how yeah, bad right? it is for him. <laughs> and, can't handle it. Could we? Uh, Sam. Okay. I have some rope. Yep. Can we bless it and just throw it through? Are y'all really that Maybe worried? Y'all don't know. Just a ghost. <laughs> you just disappeared. Well, we <laughs> did see you fall in and disappear. I mean, yep. that so, is worrisome. The chances that it's a portal is increasing. My um, so Alice far. says, uh, I can't. How, how in the world do I explain this? Um, so apparently I can go into people's heads. Really? Yeah, but, and standing here, I can, I can feel the pathway into your head and I can feel the pathway into your head, Baptiste. I can feel it into both of you, but I, I can't with Jet. 
Yeah. Well, but he's doing his insubstantial thing. I don't know. Well, sure. I'll give it a shot and I'll bless the rope. Yeah. And fling it against the wall. And uh, that is exactly what happens. Uh, I throw guys, a piece of rope uh, against a wall. And it goes boom, boom, and falls down. Yeah. You guys, this is what happened last time when you tapped it with the uh, inanimate object. It's solid. It's only when flesh touches it that it goes through. Shit. And comes back covered. And in the ghost still goes ghost through. Ghost rock corn dogs. Yeah. Ghost rock goes through this wall. Yes. Uh, the train so was I'm... made of ghost rock, remember? And it had so... ghost rock. It was running on ghost rock. So. So I'm on the other side. Just yes, if you we, are. Okay, y'all, if we can get... How... God. Y'all, I made a magic. I'll either die or I won't. It'll be okay. Yet, you grab the... Um, this is the... Which badge is this? This is my ghost steel badge. This is the one okay. that I feel like represents what I became once I stepped away from just a mortal man and became a man of both magic and the law. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for explaining that. That changes things. You touch it. There is a... Um, you feel Raven flood into you, but it's not pleasant. This is like raw form. This is not her in the physical realm. This is a being of such unbelievable natural power that it's like being taken over by a continent and she's just in you the damage stops and she says oh no everything goes black and on our side on your side, nothing has changed. Looking around, is there like ghost steel rebar? Or yeah, right. Like a long piece. Like that? That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, I there's bits thinking, and pieces around. Yeah, but not like just bits and pieces. Like, is there a good four foot section? Uh, yeah, you could find one. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just imagining right. on the other side of this wall, and then I get impaled randomly. <laughs> uh, I sharpen uh -huh. it and quickly shove it through the wall. <laughs> Uh, slowly <laughs> grabbing a hold of like the last, you know, eight inches, hold that through and just and, and look to Lucius over his shoulder, just kind of go, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. it it Maybe we should put a flag on the end of it so you can see it. Um, well, the flag wouldn't go yeah. through. No, that's true. Jet, you do not see that because you have essentially a waking dream kind of waking mostly dream but i don't first know that's so why i keep doing it oh, you're alice is you know. alice you know how you throw bedroom like you throw rocks at your at your like the bedroom window of your yeah. boyfriend yeah. when you're dink, young dink, alice dink is doing throwing sitting. pieces of ghost still through it yeah <laughs> Just little bits um this jet. is that moment where i'm like haha y'all love me <laughs> you find yourself you there, in you know. uh, in that field again. The one she took you to when you uh, looked backwards and where you had stood there, nothing grew. And in that one footstep where she taught you how to make hope, you're back in that field, except you're in a movie running backwards. That moment unhappens you lose the ability to make that flower and you draw back more and more and more through time. And just every single encounter that has happened with Raven all the way to the very first time you saw her sitting on the top of the doctor's office, that whole period of time happens in a split second in reverse. And it's horrible because you lose everything you've gained. You lose the ability to heal. Then you lose the, your other abilities. Your ability, you know your ability to walk through stuff is gone. And you wake up lying on the floor in the cell in the sheriff's office in paradise.
Am I hurt? Am I? You do a quick. The only, the only marks that are on you are the scars that you've created recently to generate the power to heal. Those are still there. They're still scars. But everything else about you is fine. But you concentrate or whatever it is that you do, there is no connection and no magic. You're just jet. I don't know what I'm feeling. So we'll go back up to the cave. You I'm still, I'm still wave thinking. around with that stick of ghost rock. You're banging on their banging on the material. Make all three of you, please. Muted, Give me a deafness check, please. Also, our oh. cameras are all switched. Yeah, there was the there was a dropout and back in. Yeah, that was that was my my internet got a little goofy. Uh, what do you need? Me, what do you need us? It's to do? been sketchy all night for a, for a lot of people, so I'm not sure deafness? what the deal is. But deafness. yeah, deafness out of everybody, please. Yes, sir. I just raised that right before we started. Luckily, what I was good at to begin with. <laughs> I don't know what I rolled though. Twenty. Oh, eh, not too bad. Yeah, a couple of raises. And then Sam, yeah, that's enough. Sorry, I, 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 uh, I accidentally pressed the wrong button, so I had to reset my page. So, give me two seconds. Deafness. I got it. And Alice is so like two seconds from going and getting that black stuff. You, you said uh, deafness? Yeah, deafness. This. Just a straight deafness check. Check for me, please. That's weird. I know where it is. It's not. It's a category, uh, not it's a specific. The top. Yeah. Oh, yeah. there it is. Okay. Right underneath cognition. It's a big category. Oh, oh. dear. Shit. Yeah. Um, there is, it you was, guys what? are doing your various things. You're poking, you're knocking, you're standing. Uh, and I guess it catches you on a blink, Lucius. There is a blast, like a steam horn goes off. And the amount of material coming out of... Uh, out of uh, his head, just like triples, just <laughs> for just a couple of seconds, and then drops back. Uh, you, Alan of Alan uh, of Campbell. Alan's face, yeah, out of the same the same orifices that just tripled for just a second. Um, I use a white chip. <laughs> well, let me roll to see. For oh, yeah, actually, you prevent. Uh, let me. Well, let me. Let me just see what what happened here. Yeah, it's definitely going to hit. Uh, the, the other two of you, you guys are fine. You sort of, uh, you backed up enough. Um, you got your you got your duster up, Sheriff. Uh, <laughs> or, uh, Let me ask you this, Marshal mm -hmm. Kevin, and please feel free to say no. Mm -hmm. With a 20, now I don't mm -hmm. know how difficult that was, but a 20 I would hope would be maybe one or two raises. Yep. Oh yeah. In yep. that split second, can I throw up protection, which might make this go around me and shield both of them behind me? You certainly can, yeah. With a depth with an eleven or with a twenty, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, this steam comes out, Lucius. You see it coming. It's like you're not moving. Your body's not responding. You're, and then you're inside this bubble, and the steam rushes around you. And then it drops back to normal and the bubble. Oh, it looks super anime. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, because the bubble in my head, the bubble is completely invisible. So it's just the smoke just doesn't go in that area. Nice. <laughs> Baptist Chen. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can we please? Let's get that genre crossover art. I would <laughs> really appreciate whoever can do Baptist Chen. <laughs> uh, i'm sorry i had to that was very weird. uh you don't be ever sorry about anything ever again <laughs> you don't be ever sorry <laughs> all right um well what in the hell was that 
Oh, thank you. Um, Miss Alice. Well, yeah. Way. I'm here too. Way in the distance, like like a million light years away. Jet's back. She like instinctively like whichever one of them is closest to her, which is probably Baptiste, mm-hmm. like yep. on the shoulder, like ha, ah! and and she's trying to go there. You can't get there; it's too far. But the next best thing you can do is kind of pan and sort of search and get a direction. <laughs> First of all, it's leading you right out of the cave. Uh, she says, I- "Jeb, he's back." And she just books it. Just gone, yeah. Just, yeah. Which uh, is not she, very fast. For still, her, yeah, but to still, fair, but it's, but, uh, well, let's put it this way fast enough to be, uh, not to be worrying about your lady likeness. Yeah. Your ladiness. Yeah. Yeah. So just pull the skirt up and ha- get hiked out. Up, just... Yeah, and just going. Yeah. Absolutely. You race the length. And it's one of those things you kind of just, realize how much this boy means i mean it's not that but it's this guy's important right you've been with him for a while he's yeah you care is yeah. what this boils down to which for miss alice is probably a pretty new thing all by itself yeah but because of that you start that run and it it's like that dream where you just like your feet you're in in treacle up to your knees and you just can't Go and the tunnel keeps getting longer instead of shorter, and the perspective it's all getting darker and smaller, and it's terrifying. And I would like you to give me a guts check. Oh, shit. it seems fine. <laughs> you, you stumble because your voice, in a very mocking way, says to you. You care about that commoner? How do you answer that? Uh, probably out loud. Uh, she would shut up, Alice, and just <laughs> keeps running. And that 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 pain, that that un- inability, is just disappears. And Alice, you come through that like the kool-aid man through a poorly built brick wall <laughs> it's just like ah, no. and alice's force of will you feel it you have never in your life pushed this hard for anything yeah everything's been easy or you haven't bothered yeah. And that is what carries you out into the open, out of the cave. And the second you're out in the sun, it's like your head clears. You still can't get into his head, but he's right down there. Uh, she yells out, sorry, and <laughs> jumps on Rebecca and takes uh, off. <laughs> Ooh, uh, I will, you need to give me an animal wrangling. Uh, I gotta find it. Because I'm assuming Rebecca would resist. Um, to say the least. Yeah. And and if she, and if she makes it, it's gonna get a lot weirder. <laughs> um, I'm gonna start messaging you something now, just in case. That's a six. Yeah. You uh, rush up and uh, go to grab the reins, and it's just this little flick of the head, and you the, you miss, and you step forward, and she steps back, and there's just like maybe if you took time but you don't have time yeah so i assume uh, at this point you it's going to be faster to get on your own that's fine though. fancy it is yep she says you fuck you leg. rebecca hey, <laughs> you kick your here's your one chance fancy <laughs> don't let yeah. me down that's exactly what she says <laughs> as you as you kick in the, again this bugger lady like you're not riding side saddle it's across the thing one hand on a reins one hand on a horn you dig the heels in like you're wearing spurs and fancy launches off that flat and starts to take you down the hill that ass dragon down the steep hill thing that they do mm-hmm. but they're not allowed to do at rodeos anymore because it's cruel you're doing that because it's it's that important 
And as you break that crest, the other two, um, uh, what are you guys doing? I just like, should we follow or do you think we should handle this I, first? I, I want to try to figure out one thing and I don't need to take a whole lot of time because yep. what Alice is doing. Um, so I've felt a presence of a, a spirit or a soul of some kind on the other side. Mm -hmm. Do I think I could use or modify a ritual of an exorcism to close this portal? It would certainly seem like something the... Uh, according to the holy books you've read, it's possible. Okay. At least as, right. as far as you understand it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'm going to grab a, um, you know a handful of the rebar. Yeah. And um, turn to head out of the, uh, the mine shaft. And um, like, like it's the uh, turning to Lucius and it's the sort of look on his face. Like whenever you know that you like got to go in to get a root canal or something like, I know I yeah. have to do this, but this is the, this is going to suck so bad. Um, okay. And he just looks to Lucius and says, you know, you make a hell of a lot better pot of coffee than the lady at the bar. Do you think you could maybe make a couple when we get back? And he just heads out of the, uh, and I go, I go get my horse because yep. it's my horse. <laughs> I'm just running behind him. Yep. And I'm, but I'm, I'm not, I'm not, you know, riding to beat leather. I'm just riding back, getting um, myself this, ready. I'm hoping yep. one of them grabbed Alice's camera because she left that shit. I'll grab hey. it. Ooh, I didn't think I he brought it. it. Uh, oh, I bring it everywhere. It's always, yeah. Okay. But uh, yeah, yeah. That, that gives me a thank you. That's a real like moment of Alice panic thing. I really like that. Thank you. Uh, if I have uh, a legend chip for that, that's freaking brilliant. Yeah, it's, yeah. Would that, I have just, noticed? Nope, it. don't care. Because it's also giving up an incredible opportunity or a series of opportunities, depending on what's about to happen, right? So, <laughs> so um, at the I guess moment, I'll load it up. Yeah, you follow Baptiste on. You guys are basically stride for stride as you head out you get to the opening of the cave just as you watch miss allison fancy drop over the edge of this hill jet you're laying confused and powerless like you feel so weak on the floor inside a locked jail cell three of you that is everybody miss alice you hear huge explosion miss alice you're over the edge you look down and see the the blacksmith that whole and that whole area like her house the blacksmith itself the yard the um the the sheds everything that most of that whole block that she occupies mm -hmm. is erupting straight up and it's just white steam coming out from underneath. And it lifts up and then <laughs> drops back down. It's flat. There's bits of wood and structure sticking up here and there. There are two things that do not belong. One of I them is time. like the corner of a cube that's made out of some strange bluish, almost like a glass material that's kind of sticking out of the ground. There was nothing like that in her house or that you saw. The second thing is that something lived through that because something sits up out of the dust and it falls away. And you're, Something's not quite right with that. It's not Jenny. It's built wrong. And then you put it together. It's too big. It's way too big to be a person. And it slowly stands up. 
It's 12 to 15 feet tall. It's glinting in the sun. Is it the chainsaw thing? And a burst of flame out of the other hand. It's battle mech. Basically. And it turns. It's where that it's where that blew up. And it turns and starts to head towards the tent city. Alice is going straight for Jet. You don't know. Oh yeah, you do know where you can follow the like this compass beam. So yeah. You uh you're gonna ignore that and okay, give me another guts check. She as far as she's concerned, she if she's gonna deal with that, she needs Jet. Yep. Oh boy. Before she does yeah, get here, five. though, I do need a second to like. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I will get to you in just a moment. Uh, so, um, yeah. Uh, you for a second, it's like I need, I need jet. Uh, I need jet for this, and then you realize how badly you need jet. How scared you are right now. And in any other day of Miss Alice's life, you would have turned and run long ago. Yeah. But you don't. You lean forward on that plummeting horse, and your eyes lock, and you know where he is. He's in the sheriff's office. And you just let that horror stomp across the end of town. You don't even look again, because it's too much. And you make yeah. your way towards the sheriff's office. Jet in the sheriff's office. Oh, I'm so the two like I don't even know what order they came in. They're so like commingled, but it's just like there's the confusion and then there's the revelation, and then it's just oh, like I don't even know how to describe how heartbroken. Like, because it's not the loss of power. It's not, it's not, oh, I can't do these things anymore. It's that was a connection to something that ever since I was a kid, I have been seeking and it feels like it's gone. And that was the only thing that felt like home. Everything else was just, this is what is right. This is what is wrong. That was the thing that made it all a little bigger than that. So he's, it's just a confusion. And then it's just like, he starts tearing up and I'm just, I, I just am sitting there and I, it, all I can do is talk out loud because I don't know if there's anybody there, but I mean, I don't care anyway. I'm just like, did I, why I wasn't, did I do something wrong? And it's just like kind of looking around the cell. Like, I mean, really just at this point, like a cornered animal, it's like, I didn't, I I was just trying to find an answer. I wasn't. And then it kind of boils over into rage. And it's like, you can't leave me here. You can't do this to me. I, I did everything you asked. I never. And it's just, it boils back and forth between that. And I'm just at a point, I'm just crumpled in the corner. Just with a tear rolling off my face. And that is why Miss Ellis kicks in the door. Yeah, and I will say, as she she doesn't stop fancy and get off, she just, as she's approaching the sheriff's office, she just swings a leg over and hits yep. the ground running. Hits, yeah, and fancy's like, and turns around and she's waiting when you, if, if and when you come back out. Yeah. You go inside and there's a wreck of a human being that looks like Jet sitting in the corner. He's just distraught. She Nina, to... up on top of the hill the two of you jump on your horses get to the crest look down and you can see miss alice on her way down the hill she's obviously heading towards town she appears to be utterly ignoring this monstrosity walking towards the tent city it's like we've got a job to do that look familiar to you the little uh, symbol yeah. mm-hmm that's the one. <laughs> and the two of you go racing down the hill. And that yeah. is where we'll take our break. Oh, I got a piece of crap. <laughs> 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 
So we will take a, uh, a reasonable <laughs> length break here. Uh, our fine uh, production yeah. staff, I'm sure, will uh, take care of that for us in a moment. Okay, uh, what's Marty got to say? Fuck. That is, oh, she, oh, Karis, you saw through my plan. Yes, that was my break cliffhanger. Absolutely. <laughs> I didn't get one last week. So I, I had told to get you Jean Vienne was hiding something. <laughs> uh, All right. Well, we'll be back in 20 minutes. Stay tuned. Watch the videos. It's all coming to a head. <laughs> Oh, oh was damn. The- all right. There's the microphones. Hey, motherfuckers. I can see you now, and you're all the wrong place. Hey. <laughs> Who just cool. I'm, I'm so can you broody. Us- I try to make the right choice, but ultimately it's selfish. <laughs> oh, no, you're in the right places. Okay, it works. You know, this sucks. I'm in the same <laughs> spot. Yeah. <sighs> a queen I don't knows think that. Lies. I don't think that. I don't. It's a lie. That. I know how you feel. I thought we had Thank something you. special. Emo You cowboy. don't even have power. You ain't special no more. He boy. just does this behind your picture all the time. You just never see it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's getting serious. The boy's got his milk. We're in trouble now. I had to. All right. Home, so, home on the range, with where that. my chemical romance plays. Hey, they're getting back together. <laughs> Apparently, I have a niche character I play. <laughs> <laughs> you just figuring that out now? <laughs> oh, are your guys' characters niches? That's so cool. <laughs> yeah, he's also a nephew, but that's different. <laughs> Uh, let's keep making jokes so we don't have to fight the giant Mac. So we don't have to do the thing, yeah. So you guys are, uh, I'm going to start with the ones in, on the hill. Uh, because I have to ask a question. And that question is, Baptiste, are you going full bore? Because um, you will leave him in the proverbial dust if you do. Um, n- does it look like I need to yet? Uh, no, it is making its way towards the tent city, that end of town. It doesn't seem, it's not destroying anything as it goes. It's, it's, if you had to guess from this distance, it's going somewhere. It's like, it looks like it's on a mission. It's going in a very straight line. Does it look like it's going to, to the tent city or is tent city in the line of where it's walking? Give me... A, you know, just a straight smarts. Just give me a straight smarts roll. Okay, that might not be bad. I mean, no, it's not great. Well, you roll? Not with that. Okay. Um, It is making a beeline towards something and you look and it's like, no, it isn't Tent City. It's the train. It's walking directly at the engine of the hell train. Okay. Um, then, uh, um, do I think if I do ride all out, I could get to the tent city before it gets there? Yes. All right. Um, then yeah, I'll actually I'll I'll turn back to um, Lucius and say um, I'll see you there, and just dig dig heels into the side and ride as hard as I can to the tent and city. Full Rebecca mode, going downhill. Uh, even you on Rebecca have rarely gone this fast. You are going so fast. It's making you feel kind of fragile and old. Like you just will be a very, very bad time to fall off. Oh, my prostate, my prostate. No, (laughs) (laughs) But you are flying. And part of you, it makes you feel 20, 30, maybe 40 years younger. Uh, By the time you get to the bottom, you're, you're up in the saddle. You're goading her to go even faster. 40 years younger. I'm a spry 50. <laughs> <laughs> and you are just flying. And she picks up that energy and there's this lifting sensation. And you guys are almost not touching the ground. 
you're going so fast you can hardly hear the sound of your own passage in the wind okay lucius he's gone <laughs> like you're you're going down this hill on this horse holding on for dear life and he looks at you and grins, says something that you trying to catch and then boom gone down this hill okay once again <laughs> um okay so yeah pretty much <laughs> um okay so i got a question for you Yep. Uh, trying to look at the map. Steps yep. are in the way. So just give me a second. Uh, Klaus is the hotel from Tent City, like that we usually stop our stuff. Uh, well, stop Tent City's stuff. way down here. And the hotel is where your markers currently are, although they all should be. You know, let's just put them over this area for now. So we're actually, no, because we've got Miss Alice is. So number six. There. Jets there. Yeah, number six is this is the saloon saloon number one where you guys are staying. Okay. Um, are there any uh, saloons close? Other saloons close to the tent city? The only other saloon is the uh, uh, the end of the line, the one that Ellie's uncle that you don't know is her uncle just rebuilt. Charlie. I need. I'm. Th- I need, I'm thinking to myself, I need uh, alcohol and I need to make cocktail, uh, mocktails is what they call. <laughs> yep. Uh, what do you call that again? Sorry. Molotov, Molotov cocktail? Thank you. Oh, okay. okay. That's because very, very different from a mocktail. is like Sprite and Grenadine. <laughs> Yeah, it's like a Shirley Sorry, Temple. It, it, it seems like alcoholic, but it isn't yet. I need so. a Shirley Temple right now. <laughs> right now. All right. This is That's what like broke him. Away. This is what broke him. He's like, no, nope, I need, I need a soda pop. <laughs> yeah. uh, Obey totally your thirst. <laughs> um. So yeah, you continue down the hill, uh, Baptiste. You are there, and the, the it's you almost don't want to stop. It feels so good. You you just like you look at the road, and it's like we could just go, and just never stop. Uh, so I do two things. Mm-hmm. One, when I get um here, and I'll I'll yeah. So when I get like basically there, I know yep. I, I, it's closer in, but there essentially. Yeah. Um, he reins back. Rebecca and for a split and I'm assuming there's still there's people around uh yes they are uh the ones in the tent city are like coming out of their tents and screaming and everybody's leaving the area uh this this appears to have caused a bit of panic this is odd even for paradise okay um so are people getting out of here or are they like getting out of their tents to see what's going on are they getting it it starts with the second and very quickly turns into the first yeah they come out what the hell oh shit and just self-preservation kicks in and they're heading into the trees south of town uh okay um so And and the thing coming towards you now is like i mean it's got no eyes and no sort of face sure it is straight lining and it doesn't seem to it doesn't like it didn't turn and watch you approach it's just and, staring at the train and and no one else is around from the like uh uh, uh alice isn't there jet's not there no nope. i don't see i don't see miss ellie and lucy isn't nope. there there yet. is you do a quick look around and there is nobody paying attention so as he sees that none of his despite his best efforts his friends aren't around he actually takes a second and he reins Rebecca back. And for just a heartbeat, Rebecca is black, deteriorated flesh and bone. You can see the bits and pieces where you can see the bone and the rot and the dead flesh and the rotten clothes on Baptiste. And then by the time the horse lands, it's back to how he looks all the time. And he finds those guys from the other day, the Desperados, the one he branded yep. and the one that came up to him in the bar. Yep. 
and using using uh using the voice and using the stare he looks he looks at uh those those two and says yep. if you all want to earn that brand that you have you and your friends are with me and we're gonna send that thing someplace that ain't too nice and it works they are stiffened like a like a drink like a quick shot of rye they're, just, <clears throat> they're gonna prove to you that they deserve this and they stand behind you they form sort of a line off of each shoulder and they start you know getting ready and getting ready to draw okay we're gonna cut cut that right there because miss alice there's a i mean it looks like jet but there's no confidence there's no power there's no there's nothing and then rage. He flails around on the floor, throwing himself onto the onto the bed, and then nothing. Is he saying all that stuff out loud too? Like at this point, and you tell I... me, Jet. I mean, I was. So if you walked in when I was in the middle of it, but past a point, I'm just kind of sitting there, just like it's. I I tuckered myself out, and I just there's nothing. It's just a husk. I'm just sitting there. So yeah, you get there for the a burst, and you you think I mean you know him reasonably well. This is it. He didn't tire himself out on just one of these. He's been in here doing this for a while, but you you get the impression he's just he's just worn out. I'm trying to fling the door open, the cell door. It's locked. Uh, do I see the key? You look around, and yeah, there's a key ring on the desk. Okay. Where Jet uh, I'm left. Unlo- it. I'm unlocking it. Yep. Yeah. Uh, does Jet respond? No, I, it's just a blank stare through the floor. Like even if she comes in, like it's just through. I'm not there. Uh, once I get it unlocked, and I get in there, I'm like, Jet, and she like puts her hand on his shoulder. And, and waits a second to see if he, like, has any recognition. It's that, like, when someone won't look you in the eye. It's like the moment you touch my shoulder, I just kind of wince. And I'm just kind of like, I'll look anywhere but up. Uh, she'll, is he, if he's on the floor, she'll kneel down next to him. Huh? Um... And she says, and she kind of is like looking at him to see if he's like in one piece because yep. she has no idea what just happened. So she's yep. first kind of time. assessing, is he in one piece? Yep. There's no fresh wounds of any kind. He's got the scars on his arms, but he's always had those. And she says, are you, are, are you okay? Can I try to help? Would it be easier if you don't talk about it and you just let me find out another way I may be able to help? And he's just like, I'm just shaking my head. Like there's no, I whispered no when you asked if I was okay, but that's it. There's just, I'm not there. All right, she just does it or tries to do it. She doesn't know how it works, so she like yep. she probably like puts her hand on his forehead or something <laughs> like. Yep. Like a sick mom, and you're like, "Why is she taking my? Oh Jesus, she's in my head." What does she see? It's like you stepped through in a different time, and it. I'm gonna. I'm gonna take some art artistic moves here and i'm gonna say Please everything do. everything's faded like it's like in an old photograph not one of yours like one of the just normal regular black and whites and everything's kind of flickery but dark around the edges and you see a town you've probably never been to and you see a kid staring at a gravestone 
and he's just sitting there staring at it and he's just weeping and like if you're listening he's sitting there and he's just like why why'd you go you didn't it ain't right that ain't and he's just on like he's on his knees just sitting there pleading and that's what's uh that is what is happening and alice will walk up and try to read the gravestone i don't want to ruin this scene so but it says a name that you don't recognize because i don't think jet's ever told you his last name um and it's oh, it's been so long i should know my mom's name <laughs> <laughs> it is your mom's name though okay and the dates yeah okay. yeah it's i was gonna say do up. the dates line up with the i'm pretty it's, sure it's phoebe that was his mother's okay. name so the death date is it the day she died or is it today i think it's flickering like the original date is there, but it also seems to be like, cause everything here is kind of flickering and there's like a weird, I'd almost say it's like an overlay because it flicks between, you can see this scene and then in a moment you see where he is, you see me like Jet just crumpled on the floor and that name flickers back and forth as well. And sometimes it says Phoebe and sometimes it says Raven and sometimes it just says mom. Um, I'm going to try to talk to Jet, but talk to the little, the, like the little boy version of Jet. Okay. Um, and she'll sit, sit on, kind of like sit on the ground next to him. And uh, she'll say, how, how long has it been? And he, he does that thing kids do because he's just a kid where he just like, he doesn't know you, but immediately he's just like got his arms wrapped around you and his face buried in your shoulder and he's just sobbing. And he he's just like I I don't know it I don't I don't remember it's it was today everything was today I don't I've known but I I didn't this ain't fair Salas yeah there's a five year old boy bawling his eyes out on your shoulder. What are you going to do? Um, she just, she just holds him for a second and lets him cry. And then she kind of does the thing where you like put your finger under the chin and lifts his mm -hmm. chin up. Yep. And he's just a mess. And it's just that face. Yeah. The every, everything's running. Uh, she takes her handkerchief and just, and she says your expensive lace handkerchief yeah. ma'am yeah it's um, ruined and that's fine um she says it's not fair most things in your life aren't gonna be fair but it is going to be okay. And she, and she like pulls, she tries to pull good memories that she could, that from, from his mind and tries to start slowly replacing all of the bad stuff with good memories. Okay. Here's, here's the thing. I'm going to just a tiny interjection here. Everyone of those wonderful memories that you can find are about his little brother. But there's around every one of them, like a shadow around 
like dust around a star. They're all wrapped in this fear. That sounds like a cat. Um, but as you grab them and pull them, they come out of those. Yeah. Like the miasma stays and you pull it out and it's, it's his little brother sitting on his mom's knee giggle or sorry, wrong. His dad's knee giggling as he's getting bounced. It's the same boy a couple of years later. Just, every one of them is just having fun, having fun. Some of them aren't like, they're not good. Like there's one where he's watching jet get yelled at for something that he knows jet didn't do. Mm-hmm. But it's still a really jet. You see a jet looks down the hall and sees him. And that's where you flash sort of into jets memory. Mm-hmm. It's like, oh, good. It's not him. It's me. And she like, says, all these just. And so especially when that one pops up and there's probably more like it. Yep. She says, see, you've always been good. You've always done what's right. Even when you didn't know what was right. And gunshots and, break out outside. Yeah. <laughs> and she says, there's no, the only thing that's going to help this right now is Tom. But Jet, we need you. That, and she like conjures the image of the, chainsaw thing in his mind and she says it's it's here it's out there right now and i i guess i'd like to think both of the me's that there are kind of begin to sink and there's just this moment and you just see them you know rub and nod and there's just that moment of like where you've been crying and you just you force that numbness on it because you know the next thing is now and that has to be dealt with and this can at the very least wait for the moment it's just like but it's still kind of hollow and she and she gives whatever form of like mishmash jet that is in there she gives him a hug and before she like tries to peel herself out of his mind i guess like up on like there's an image and there's just a hill just a hill with flowers and trees just like a forest and there's just the jet that Alice knows, the jet that Alice, how Alice sees jet, just covered in badges and like his guns on his, guns on his side, like with an army, army of deputies behind him, but they're all jet space. Yeah. just enough to do it and then she pops out <sighs> miss alice was right in front of you she just saw all of that you're back in possession you are for now there's dealing is going to have to be dealt but right now a hero is needed and there's that moment of just like realization of what just happened and realizing that she knows and that I know and it's just I stand up and I straighten you know my my vest and my star and there's a moment of hesitation and then it's just like I just hug her real quick it's just there's not a there was a moment where I was gonna just be very professional but it's just like there's no point and so it's just a very strong hug and then I'm out the door Okay. Um, and she she hugs back and then as soon as he lets go she rifle comes off the shoulder and she says I told you I was sick of this fucking blacksmith <laughs> <laughs> and walks out 
the two of you walk out the door to the sound of heroic swells of music. As you stride out into the street into, you can hear there's a gunfight going down by the tent city, by the hell train. And you don't even consciously make the decision, but you find yourselves running. Can I do something first? This of is... course you can. Because the first thought Feel when free I walk... Deadlands all you want. <laughs> well, right caddy corner to where we are, because uh, I run outside and my first thought initially is like, okay, how can I use magic? And then there's that, that void that it's not there. It is not there. But then I remember how Miss Alice, like that, because that last moment there in my mind was just enough to push me past it. And I was like, I got my own kind of magic. And I run over across Caddy Corner to the mercantile. <laughs> you, and, uh, I love this. You slam, because uh, it's swinging doors in the saloon, right? You slam open the doors. The lady of the building just hands you the grenade your grenade she just hands it to you she says i'm staying in here try not to die and she pushes you physically pushes you back out the door i'm assuming that's what you were going for oh yeah well i was yeah. gonna just grab dynamite from the mercantile but that's even better i'll do whatever yeah, she, i can work with she physically hands you the, your ghost rock grenade that you had and yeah and i'm just running and like it's just like I don't know. I'm just grinning. I got this in my hand. And for some reason, everything's back to at least in the moment. Right. So there's something, something simple to do. There's right and wrong right here. Right. I, I love it. Oh. Mm, yes. Okay. I'm back there. Uh, <laughs> mechanically, we're going to do it this way. This fight is going to start uh, with Baptiste and some boys. And then in uh, two turns, Lucius is going to get there, and one turn after that, the two of you will arrive. Do if, if there's time. So then... uh, we will start with uh, Baptiste. It is walking directly towards the line of view. It is not actively being aggressive, but it is not breaking stride, and it is not even paying attention to you being there. Okay. Uh, do I need to draw cards? Yeah, absolutely. Yep. Let's do some. Uh, let's okay. do some initiate. Some initiate. All righty. And I got to check it. So it's, it's, it's there. So roll oh. some quickness and see what we I got. I should do quickness first. Maybe I get more than one card. Ooh. Ooh. Three each. Oh, no, sorry. Yeah. Uh, I got a race. So that's two. Yeah, so you get, yeah, you get two. It gets three. Wait, are we all rolling quickness or just him? I'm sorry. Uh, for this, go. yeah, for this round, it's just, for these first two rounds, it's just going to be him and the, the guys that are with him. Gotcha. Can I keep that roll though? <laughs> uh, where am I? There I am. Okay. Oops. Just like I heard that. Oh, I see yours are below mine. Okay. <laughs> uh, so aces, kings, queens, jacks. He has a jack and he simply walks right up to you. He is here and not breaking stride. The, the, not attacking the, in any way, but just walk, going to walk right through you if you don't move. The robot. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm sorry. I, I said he, didn't I? Yeah. It. Yeah. The, and, and, and just to ask and all that kind of stuff in these steps, yeah. is it, is it, threatening is it aggressive is it acting in a Not way at is all. it just it is utterly ignoring a line of like five men with guns okay um i actually will uh just have you know, I guide Rebecca to take a couple of steps back and I'll yell to everybody else. Um, uh, uh, stay in front of it, but hold until I fire. As you say the word fire, one of them fires. Three quick rounds. Ding, ding, ding. Like, just off into nowhere. They're not even close. He is panicked. 
This is not okay. one of the ones that has, this is not the guy with the, with the, uh, uh, with, uh, he, you have yet to see how well he shoots, but this guy is just one of these, one of these boys and he panicked and just, you hear her fire and let three rounds go. You look at him for a second. He's too young. He's never been in the army yet. So he's got okay. no fire control. Um, okay. And would you allow that as I sort of like use Rebecca to keep pace? Cause I still want to stay in front of it. Oh, yeah. But as I'm doing that, um, to, from a mechanic standpoint, draw a bead, which will give you a plus two to my shooting. Absolutely. So that's one action to do that, right? To give you. Yeah. So that'll burn my, that'll burn my 10. Okay. So yeah, 10 is next. Absolutely. So you, yeah, you sort of turn sideways and uh, one pistol or two. Or uh, both or of what them. Have we got out. Both of them. Okay. So yeah, you, you sort of turn sideways and you've got the two of them and you, I mean, he's easy to track. He is making no effort to, it is making no effort to sure. evade whatsoever. And I'm waiting to see just so that there's a clear trigger of what's going on of yep. something either it aggressively does something to a person or yep. does something that looks bad right. with the engine. Yeah. So you line up the double shot and you get ready to, and at any point, because you're prepared for this, just, just say shoot at any point, if you choose to, okay. uh, it, it has, cause it has a nine. So it's next. Um, it's walks up to the engine gets very slowly and ponderous. Like it's not really designed to do it. it gets down on its knees and uses the chainsaw revs it up and he's, but then it starts digging. It's not attacking the metal of the train. It's attacking the dirt. It's digging underneath the train. Okay. I just, again, as as I guess what you might call a free action, just again, because yep. it's doing something new, yell out, hold. And yeah, you, you the silence around you, you sort of, you're used to this out of the corner of your eye. You just see an arm moving and you know that it's that, it's that guy reloading. Like putting, he's popped the, the cylinder open. He's putting three fresh rounds in, but he's not actually firing at the moment. So good. You just re, he's reloading and looking sh shameful. Okay. Uh, and yep. For the rest of this turn, if, uh, if you don't choose to shoot, it's just going to continue digging. Okay. <laughs> And so you have one more uh, action if you choose. It's not till seven. Okay, mine's not till five. So go ahead. I I I continue. I continue to hold them. I, it, yep. it hasn't like this is weird. Yep. But I've dealt with a lot of weird, and so far it actually hasn't done anything like evil or bad. So yep. I don't want to just shoot some random robot because it was trying to dig up a train and maybe yep. help. And there's dirt flying everywhere. So that's the uh, end of that round. So let's okay. get your last card out of there. And um, before we draw the next round, um, it, uh, well, let's just say this. We don't have to draw the next round if you're not going to do anything because he's just going to continue to dig. If it just continues to dig, I don't, I don't interrupt it. Okay. And at the end of that round, you... Now you can hear uh, Lucius. You've heard his horse enough times. You can hear Lucius approaching. You can see sort of out of the corner of your other eye, uh, the other two coming down the road. Everybody's starting to can, can, uh, come together on this. And I'll and it, raise, and if yeah. it loses one of my shots mechanically, if it comes up, let a, like I will raise the one hand, like let the pistol dangle from the loop or something like that yeah but just in the physical sign of just wait yep to me well, all to my friend all of you all, all of three you. of you oh, okay yeah. so does ellie come out uh ellie does not come out it's uh weirdly it. uh because you I said that it. you look over and the inside of the like you can see in one of the windows of the bar and it is it is inky black like it's not just dark in there it's like it's full of dark it's like somebody I attack poured the darkness dark in. yeah <laughs> it's like somebody poured dark into this room all right and at the end of that round you continue to watch you got both guns on it saying what the hell is it doing and the, the chainsaw slows down and stops 
and it reaches into this hole that it's dug with that arm. And you can see it's trying to scoop something and it pulls and it drops it. And it pulls some more, and it pulls some more. And you see a body horribly mangled. Like it got hit by a train and then rode down a hill, kind of mangled. And this machine pulls it out and pokes it a couple times with the chainsaw blade. There's no response. Do I recognize back. the body? Uh, no, but you do recognize the, uh, you're close enough. You recognize it. it it's wearing a soldier's uniform, but it's not right. Like the piping isn't correct. The label isn't right. The cavalry label on his epaulette is one of these things. And you look inside this robot in this sort of hollow area in the chest. It's empty. There's nobody in it. There's nobody running it. Oh, shit. How long did that just say something if I want to shoot last? I know it's technically past my Oh, turn. you want to shoot? Go ahead. Like I said, tell me at any time. Uh, so as much of this as you'll let me get away with, and yep. you tell me no. I'll tell you when to stop. <laughs> uh, one, I yell fire. And two, so I drew a bead, which means I've got a plus two. Yep. But I'm going to, I'm going to aim and I want to shoot the clockwork, whatever, that makes that chainsaw work. Now, shooting yep. somebody in the eyeball is a negative six, and shooting yep. somebody in the head is a negative. Um, I had it four. pulled up. I think it's four. Four. Headshot? Yeah. So whichever one of those two you want to give me. Sorry, yeah, I mean, shooting somebody. That's a fairly large piece the of. Eyeball is a minus 10. The. Uh, head is a minus six and then a limb in is a minus four. So whatever you want to give yeah, me there, I will let's do a take. minus five. It'd be, it'll be like a, a limb, but it's slightly more armored than a human limb would be. So yeah. All right. So I'm going to, and do I get two shots with one gun or four shots with all four? With uh, both your guns. Choice. I mean, they're uh, the, the bonus for aim is only on the first shot though, I believe. Okay. So this first shot, will get a plus two. And then after that, it's it's what I roll. So I just unload and I'm trying to disable this chainsaw. Okay. So I yell fire and then I shoot. All right. Okay. So, so yeah. The first one's a 13. Oh, sorry. First one's a 16, 13, 24, and 13. Yeah. So that first one hammers into that inside arm and blows a big chunk of the remaining armor off. The second one goes just next to it because you're that good. And into the gearing behind it, you see <laughs> and sparks start to fly and the chain starts to rattle and bang. The third shot shatters the wrist and this thing starts to... <laughs> so it's still running, but it's flapping like on a released wrist. And then the fourth shot is just enough to catch a wire or something. And the chainsaw itself and jams and the chain itself snaps. All right. I'll take it. Takes. Can you roll me? Yeah, roll me four damage. Four damage four times for that. You want the damage? Got it. Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna ignore the location because it's all going to the same spot. So yeah. Is that four? That's three. Sorry, one more. Three nuts, yeah. Yeah, okay, so that is... There you go. Oh. So yeah, that arm basically, you can see it stopped working up here. The gearing is jammed in the arm and it's kind of still trying to work, but it can't. But from here down, it's just dead weight. It's just this machinery just flailing on the end of its arm. That arm is essentially useless. There's no way it's using that chainsaw as a weapon. Okay. The other boys with you do some firing. Um Let's just extrapolate this. They hit it here and there, some shots in the chest. Uh, they do some wounds. Uh, we just got to keep track of where the damage is. And we will go, let's see. 
So yeah, there's there are some other places blown off, some armor and pieces missing, and even some damage. You see some sparks in the neck area, but by far and away the most damage was done by you. So just I let you know that because mechanically it's the worst wound that causes the negatives to every to the attacks that they're making. So uh, yeah, got it. And that yeah. army is absolutely gone. It would count as maimed or destroyed if it was yours. Okay. So that is the end of the second round. So the third round, Lucius, you uh, you see him give you the stop and you kind of slow down a little bit, like, oh, maybe it's not so bad. And then all of a sudden he yells, shit, fire! And, and the, the men around him all start firing madly too. I, I wanted to ask on the way there, like going yep. there, because I was I wanted to search for something like, did anybody have like a like, did I see anybody like holding bottles or like a, a drunk guy holding a bottle of like wine or liquor of sorts? Um, there's a small chance. Uh... Or do I have any like any of my medical supplies? Would I know that is an explosive? I have lamp oil, but I don't know if it's big enough. Um. You would have to try and get something out of your pack because the people that are running past you and getting away from you are A, not stopping, and B, not carrying anything obviously flammable. Okay, that's fine. Um, I'll just grab the lamp oil, hope that works, take my knife, like, and just like strip like my shirt and just make like a little cocktail and stuff like that. It's like, well, hell. <laughs> okay. Get that ready. Uh, any any so, chemicals that I have medically that if I can make a couple of these, I will. Like I, uh, to to put more than I mean to put more than one together while riding in would probably take uh, like a round to do. Yeah, that's fine. But you can have one ready to go by the time you get there. So now I need the two of you to yeah. roll quickness for this round. <sighs> I get two. Baptiste. Yes, yeah. Okay. Baptiste and Lucius, Sorry. please. Sorry about no that. No problem. Two seconds. And at this point, uh, Miss Alice and Jet, you guys kind of come around the corner back here. I'm just going to move some stuff around. Damn, how really how like many this. cards is that? 22? That four? is four cards. Jesus. And almost to make I up don't for know Ocean, if I have that one. many guns. I do one thing. I have one job on this ship. It's stupid, <laughs> but I'm going to do it. <laughs> I believe I get to draw one card. Yes, you do. You get one. <sighs> okay. Okay. You got your card, Lucius. There we go. All right. Well. If we're waiting for this thing to go, it's going to be a while. Aces. It's a funny story. <laughs> <laughs> this um, is a man in his element. This is uh, for anybody that's, well, you know what? Yeah, you guys can now see. Uh, this is that thing again where he just stops being an old man and just all this proficiency takes over. And it's just, it's like watching a Wild West show. Is there anybody within, I don't know, 50 feet of this thing's right arm, the flamethrower arm. No. No. Uh, then you. Other these, than you. Then these next four shots, I know I don't have a bead, and I know this yep. is a minus five. Uh, yep. These next four shots are for the tank okay. of that uh, of that flamethrower. Yep. Uh, to try to take that out of the equation. Uh, sorry, I'm just scrolling back up to my shooting. Yep. All right. No problem. And I am keeping track of my bullets. Excellent. Oh. Is okay, that all four? So, or did I miss yeah. one? No, that's four. Um, okay. Minus five. So that one, no. But, uh, yeah. So your first round um, slams into the hose right where the hose joins the tank and shears that hose off and you can see a pressurized liquid starting to spray out. It's quite thick and gooey. Okay. Uh, it's not currently on fire. Your second shot pings off the arm and makes a spark. The spark falls just inside. The third shot misses the arm, bounces off the chest plate, rips off a small piece of armor. And then the fourth shot hits 
sort of off the shoulder. It does take the, the pauldron, if it, was, if it was armor, the pauldron would come off. And there is a moment as these sparks, you watch, it's almost, they start to drift down and drift down towards this liquid and then. All right. So it's just starts. You okay. can see there's just starting to burn. There's that, a little, it, like this pressurized stuff isn't lit, but the stuff that was sprayed up the arm, it's sort of burning its way down that towards the tank. Okay. Uh, is that two damage rolls is then? Uh, yes, please. Yep. Yeah. So that's two and one. Okay. Okay. Uh, uh, two, two, the... That's the turn. Thrower. Okay, so that's aces, kings. Uh, Queens. Uh, oh. King of hearts. Okay, excellent. Haul it out. You All are, right. uh, where have we got you? We got you way back here still. Let's fix that. Ooh. Actually, why don't you drag yourself over to like here somewhere? You're behind my card, so I can't get to you right now. But Okay, give me a second. It's here Ooh. like in this region here. So yeah. And you can see Baptiste and these other gentlemen. The other rounds this round, just they're just pinging off of him mostly. These guys are starting to panic a little bit because, well, first he almost blew up, but that chainsaw is flapping around and then it wasn't. And Okay, so I am up to the right. Just... Yeah, you're, you're there at the start of the turn. Okay. Um, I will get ready to light this cocktail. <laughs> Or lamp oil. <laughs> you can, I mean, you can throw it this round, light it and throw it this round if you want. I mean, you've got an action. Um, I Can I quickly just like kind of look at that? Just like, where do you want this? Uh, uh, he uh, catches your eye and then makes a, a, a nod or a gesture up towards the like torso head. Got it. Okay. And I will do a throw in check, I believe. Yep. On the deafness. Oh, please don't do this to me. Please, please, please. We got this. And uh, so it's just flat throwing because I got. Yep. Okay, because it's going to say knife. So. Yep, that's, a, that's fine. You're, it's a thing. You're throwing a thing. Okay. You should know by now I don't care about details. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> that um yeah you throw this knife and it goes yeah sure it um there, there there's the chest area where the person would sit and behind that you can see it from the front because there's no person in the way but there's a um uh there's kind of a um a box behind that and your knife penetrates that box and there's a spark quick spark you threw yeah. you threw the you threw the cocktail right i thought i threw the cocktail yeah. oh okay yes. sorry so yeah pardon me i thought right because we i saw a knife and i did exactly what be you cool. said i was gonna do no. exactly what you said i was gonna you know it it's hits gonna be in, cooler. The, in that in that space where the person is and and it's just like a red um I don't know if you've ever seen a Molotov cocktail go off. They don't explode. They just go boom. They and there's fire everywhere. everywhere. Yeah. And that happens. And it almost starts to settle back down. And then there's this jet that runs sort of up its arm, up the side of its neck and off the back of its head, like, like a teenager's hair, you know, this thing going on. Uh, Elvira Kurt, the comedian that with their hair like that at the front. Uh, yeah, that, that look, but it's fire. I'm really and, uh, agile. Uh, <laughs> Jets, Jet, get down from there. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, this, this fire is bursting up one side of it, but it doesn't seem to have any effect. In fact, as it turns towards you, <sighs> the fire burns in the speed of its turning and flares up. Uh, so it's uh, now a giant flaming robot fighting you. Uh, did I help or did I help it? I'm thinking myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, that was that was kings, was it? No, that was yeah, king of hearts. That was king. So queens, jacks, tens, nines, 
H. All right, that's me. Um, okay, so uh, seeing the situation, does it now seem to be aware of us? Oh, yes. Yeah, it is turning okay. towards you with malice intent clear in its face now. Yeah, it's and going into combat mode. So the, 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 the canister, or what I think is the canister, not to metagame yeah. it, that's leaking, but it's not like ruptured and empty. Uh, it is uh, it is leaking, and the ejected material is on fire and shooting up him. Okay. Uh, so you get the that... impression that the flamethrower probably is not going to work. Okay. In that case, um, I, again, I'll take the negatives for a, a called shot, whichever you what whatever the negatives you deemed them to be, uh, and I'm shooting for the. Uh, um, like the hip area to basically, I'm trying to take, I'm trying to take its leg out to disable it. Absolutely. Yep. Go ahead. All right. So four rounds again. You have to reload at the end of this round, but you got speed draw or speed. Uh, so it doesn't matter. Yeah. I've got, I've got one more. This is, this will be my last yeah. one. All right. This will so. be 12 rounds and three rounds. So. Uh, sorry, just finding it again. I don't know why it takes me so long to find this each time. All right. Oh, wait. How See, many roll me roll? some damage on that first one. How many did I just roll? Oh, three. I got one more. That was three. You still got one more, too. Yeah. So. I, I heard two different bloops. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay, so roll me damage the, for the first and the last. First and the last. All right, so the first one would be uh, one on forgiveness, the second and third miss, and then the fourth is off of redemption. Wow. Okay, so yeah, you blast into like the pelvis from the front, and on a human, you would have shattered the pelvis and totally destroyed that joint. In this, it, it pops out of place and it can't rotate the leg to step anymore, but it still kind of, it automatically adjusts and starts to use it like a, like a crutch or like a uh, cane on that side, but you've definitely slowed it down. The second and third rounds drive into it, but they, and they go in and do stuff, but it doesn't seem to be if Not what I'm looking for. Exactly. And then that fourth round drives back into that same spot and that leg now locks and it's, it's, trying to walk but only one leg will work and it's okay it's got this um you get the impression i mean it's a machine but it's 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 doesn't know how to solve this problem like okay. it's it's going left right left right left and it's kind of it seems like it's stuck in a loop okay and that was uh eight sevens sixes sixes i reload okay Fives. Fives. The other leg. Okay. Yep. Sorry, I'm trying to... Oh, this is going to sound like such an asshole thing to say. I'm sorry, I'm trying to pull all of my cards out. Yeah. I just am running out of space. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right. Uh, so I reload. That takes me back up. Yep. So you're at full 12, so you got three more rounds. And I've got enough to do speed reload i've got like four speed cartridges so i can get yep. that a little bit more uh Just all right bam, bam. um yeah. all right there you go all right uh of those two are successful the first and the third first uh so into the other miss. hip yeah first miss third miss there you go okay um it this is uh so the remaining leg it, it's it already couldn't really walk and now it's uh it's just sort of like just the knee is doing this right the the hip won't work and the, the flexors won't lift the foot anymore and that's the end of uh, that one so can it move at all it appears to be completely stuck in space now. It cannot move, and its two weapons are now disabled. Are destroyed, yeah. Okay. So fours. Okay. Finally, he gets to go. It looks up at you, and you see 
uh, it stops trying to walk. And inside where the person's head would sit, one little red light comes on. Threes. Twos. How can, oh, I'm only left here. I thought Lucia still had a card. Uh, I'm getting, I'm counting down for no reason at all. Uh, a, a couple of moments later, a second red light comes on. Oh, shit. Okay. Top of the next round. Uh, Everybody's in this round. Oh, shit. Quickness. Can I use the same Can quickness I... roll or do I have to re-roll? Well, uh, but you had, you had like a 15, right? Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and take three cards. Ooh. 13 is two. Yep. Well, at least I get one. That's all he gets through. I keep calling him he. He's not. Well, there's a reason for that. I'll tell you after. Son of a. Okay. Okay. I know what's going on. I'm just too staggered to talk. <laughs> I'm assuming, I'm assuming if we want to yell or say something That's that needs free to happen yeah. on our term. Nope. No, not at all. I'm not that picky. This isn't uh, Pathfinder. <laughs> I mean, if if you're sure well, about that by the yep, end of the was, last round, I would yell everybody run and and I'm not I can't do anything yet. Yeah, so you can't run yet, but he's you can starting yell. to yeah. turn yeah. Rebecca. Absolutely. So aces, kings, a third light. You know, oh, uh, in a row, there's no more lights to light up. Who's next? Because I'm out of cards. Queens. Yep. You got a four, jacks, tens. Jack, Jack of diamonds. Jack, go ahead. Yeah. Um, so I can probably assess that it's probably going to blow or just looking at it. It's got three red lights on Baptiste it. is scared. Yeah. Yeah, so you know what? I'm the just bravest gonna, man in the go. world is heading for the trees at speed as soon as he can move. Um, I'm just going to like yell at him like, move your asses and go and turn around and follow him. Okay. Uh, tens. Nine. 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 You come running around the corner, rifle up to your shoulder. You're behind it. You can't see the lights. You just see Baptiste going that way and Lucius going that way. Um, Alice is like, oh shit. And she, she turns back around and, um, she says, "Don't be stupid. Even Baptiste is running, and and <laughs> like put like run and like pushes Jet <laughs> and puts, but she puts herself between. She puts herself today. between Jet and the the thing." Holy shit! Question nice. on the large what? map: Each square is twenty feet. Uh, yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So seven yards because we move in yards. I know it's confused, but yeah. That's out of the book. That's how the book did this. It was very weird. Anyway. And she's trying to uh, push Jet back around that corner. Yep. So who's got cards left? Uh, I have three. I have a yep. six, a four, and a three. Okay. So I believe you're the six. You're next. Yeah. Okay. So if Miss Alice says that because I was running full gallop and she starts pushing me around, I'm guessing this specific corner. Yeah. Yep. Uh, it's like trying to think of the proper way to explain this it's like this moment of no that can't be right that's that's not right so it's like she pushes me and i go with the movement but i pull away and i'm going down this alley immediately just running okay. and i'm i'm just looking i'm coming around this corner and looking to see what's happening and as you come around that corner and look at miss alice is behind you running you step out you see baptiste on rebecca heading into the forest at speed you see um lucius 
veering. He was heading right down the track and he's veering to the right and heading off for the woods in that direction as well. You see this thing from where you are, you can see. I mean, you've never seen it before. There's three red lights in there, but you wouldn't know that that really meant anything. But you did hear Baptiste yell, run, and you did hear Miss Alice yell, even Baptiste is running. But that's not what I'm looking for. Okay. I'm not for? being an asshole. Bear with me. Nope, uh, absolutely. Do I see how shot up this thing absolutely is? Like, can I tell yes. how I mean, badly? It's, it's literally on fire. It's just, it's a roaring inferno. And you can see every time it moves, the remains of the chainsaw just flap on that arm. And there's just a weird moment of just like, no. And I drop, it's not lit, yep. but I just drop the glass bottle and it shatters and if i can like because I, I know sometimes you can do the up your sleeve thing i just want to spend both of my cards just to get down like out here like i'm just walking into the yep. woods i don't want anybody to even just see me turn around and go so the uh your grenade is broken on the ground because it was a glass ish container right yep so that's just and i don't where you are and with what's going on i don't think anybody's going to notice that and yeah, you just sort of between the shed over here, because I mean, you're also right next to that horrible building where you had that horrible experience just like yesterday. Mm -hmm. And so, yeah, you just turn and head for the trees. So all that's left Ryan, uh, Baptiste is riding right. into so, the trees. Now, not to, not to counter you too much but um uh, i'm actually going to head and as far as i can get on four is actually to right here and i put myself there on purpose and as he rides past he just leans out of the saddle and grabs alice around the waist and pulls her up onto the horse as he continues to ride she yep. probably goes oh shit <laughs> 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 and yeah just that thing where you use her your mo her momentum as you lift her up to turn it into lateral and you just plop her behind you on the horse um miss alice uh give me a animal wrangling just for a reason not because you're trying to control the horse but i just wanted to see something here that's a five yeah, it's the second he lets go of your hand, you're going to fall off unless you do something about it. I mean, I'm holding on to for dear life. You just wrap <laughs> on Baptiste. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, you without even thinking, the rifle just back in the sheath and your mm -hmm. arms are oops, arms around Baptiste. And then okay. on two, because I think I'm the only person left. Yep. You are. Uh 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 90. I'm all the way, Alice and Oops. I, down down this uh, down here. Lucius is sort of over there. So, okay. How far was I able to go on my turn? Like I, I would have only the moved map. you there because we're basically okay. at a map. But um, the upshot is far enough. Okay. Because as you spread in your various directions. There is a resounding, it's it, actually, it's not even loud. It's just a crack. Just, boom, as this I thing guys got out of there. explodes. Just, oh, I should have grabbed the kid. And there's pieces of metal whistling through the air and smashing into buildings all around you. It's got out of there. Explodes. Unbelievably, none of you are hit. There's fires in the tents that are burning. The The explosion was so intense that the engine of the hell train lifted up to about 45 degrees and then crashed back down into its own hole. There's a <laughs> as the dust moves from that because that's, I mean, that's gotta be 80 tons, 100 tons that just got lifted and dropped back into the dirt. 
there's you can see if you're looking back you can see the shock wave that precedes the sound so you feel a poof as it slaps past you and then a second later you feel the heat and the push this heavy slow push and then a couple split seconds after that the pieces start flying by miss alice ding, you feel a button come off the side of your dress it's that close oh damn it Jet, you're walking into the trees, and just as you get to the trees, a chunk probably like the size of an open wallet just <laughs> into the tree right beside you. You even break stride. Just walk it. Lucius, you That's are on. <laughs> roll for That's damage. Gone. <laughs> Lucius, That's gone. you look back, and this piece is wickering towards you. Just like a helicopter blade without the helicopter underneath it. And you're like, oh no, here we go again, not again. And it just, the, the wind gets under it and it, and you feel a sort of a pull on your forehead and you automatically reach up and you've got about half of a top hat left. You yeah, it's gone. Get off there. The only one, <gasps> the only one's completely untouched by this because you've got a block of buildings between you. Uh, Miss Alice and Baptiste, you see stuff flying into the air. You feel, you hear windows shattering in every direction. You feel that thunderous as the ground moves under Rebecca's feet when that train hits the ground. And then there's that deafening silence afterwards. And out of the deafening silence you hear, He's going to end it there. Well done. I hope you kept it warm for me. And Baphomet strides out of the woods. Uh, shit. Sucks to be Jet. <laughs> and that is where right we will call tonight. To uh, oh, wait, where does he walk out from on the map? Basically, uh, uh, right, right next in, to you. Uh, well, let's, there's. I'm going to let one of you roll. There is a 50-50 chance. It's going uh, to either come Sam. out right in front of Jack. Nope. Yeah. I feel Sam like roll. it should or be me. Nope. It's either going to walk out right in front of Jet or right in front of Lucius. One of the two. Oh, oh I let I that be you kidding? Kevin. What's that? I you think like I should I roll? Think, yeah. I think... Uh, no, nah, I couldn't remember the name fast enough. Never mind. It doesn't matter what I think. Willie. Willie should roll. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to roll the D4. Uh, I'm still going to make you choose. Uh, Jet, evens or odds? Odds, because I'm the odds. Odd one out of three, it doesn't hit you? Or it isn't you? Or are you picking? Uh, I don't want to see him. So. Okay, so if we roll a one or a three, it pops up in front of Lucius. If we roll a two or a four, it pops up in front of Jet. <laughs> this, I was this, only, this only makes sense. So yeah, you're walking into the wood. You could care less. This town's getting oh, destroyed again. Jets. Oh no. Don't care. Wait, wait. And then you hear the clapping and it's way too close. You don't want to care, but you it smells like ghost rock. And you look up and he's standing right there. And that is where we'll call it. So you have a week to think about what you'd like to do. And we're starting next week rolling initiative for the Baphomet fight. <laughs> well, this thing did not soften you guys shit. up at all. Oh, one successful attack. Uh, so, so I'm just going to, hey, this is John here. i uh, just going to jump yeah. in with a few uh, notes before we do uh, plugs and sign offs. Um, so for those of you who missed this weekend on Sunday, we did a special ridiculous one shot featuring Arcadia cosplay called the Mercs of Meowschiff, uh, where we played Tabaxi versions of our cats. It was uh, three hours of later this week, along with the one shot that we did yesterday, ninth voyage of the black cherry with uh, a couple special guests, one uh, from freelance DM, uh,
because the was that sick. So uh, yeah, if you want to see him do a special one shot, uh, we'll be going over there. So stay tuned for that. Um, did, did they demand Puck was in that so they could get a little payback? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I think it's too short notice. <laughs> Yeah, he we kind of killed Dirty Hank, um, yeah. but he said it was okay because he died once in his backstory. Spoilers. So um, nah, it's fine. Yes. Yeah, you'll, 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 you'll still never understand. see it coming. Uh, actually, no, everybody saw it coming for like half an hour beforehand. <laughs> um, aside from that, we also on February twenty second are going to be doing a very special star studded one shot. Uh, featuring Dingo Doodles, uh, her DM Felix, and Joe Cat, as well as our nice. very own Skylar slash Jet slash Pen. They are going to be playing evil characters in a one shot run by Puck. So that's going to be super fun. Make sure you come back for that. And make sure you don't miss our uh, season two premiere of the AKA shows. Um, too many warlocks and mercs of mischief unless they get shuffled and renamed and we're still <laughs> settling on that uh but those are going to be premiering i think first week in february and that's when we're going to be doing our special giveaway for reaching a thousand followers which we have done here yeah. on twitch so we're gonna have giveaways both of those nights both of those uh premieres um and you know depending on how much crap we end up uh wrestling together if we can get some last minute sponsorships, post some stuff on uh, the uh, Poison Paradise show that week too. So stay tuned for all of that. If you haven't given us a follow yet, make sure you do. Make sure you tell your friends. And I will kick it over to you guys to do your outros and then stay with us for the raid. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Uh, that is really cool. Uh, when that happened, uh, there was, uh, I'm not going to lie, there was quite a bit of conversation in our Discord channel. It was a pretty exciting moment. Um, but back to this i want to thank my storytellers for a truly amazing session every second tonight i enjoyed it all um so thank you and i'm going to go through them one at a time a little bit slower to give them a chance to talk about a little bit about themselves and what they're doing when they're not here so let's start with ryan he played baptiste for us tonight uh 12 yeah 18 rounds in the air in something like 12 seconds so uh <laughs> that's in game what do you do when you're not shooting a hell out of giant robots uh well in my real life i'm a theater professor and i absolutely love that and where you can see me talk about a bunch of geeky stuff is too positive. Uh, roll the number four initiative. We just put out a really cool video today where Don teaches people how to yeah. paint up a horned hunter. Uh, we really like doing those. Um, we've got DM diaries. Uh, we've got a monthly show where we'll teach you how to make really good drinks and play uh, arcade cabinets. Um, so check us out, uh, roll for initiative and follow us. Uh, R4I vlog on Insta and Twitter. Very cool. Thank you. Your uh, YouTube channel has been put in chat. So anybody who Woo. wants to can just click on it there. Nice. Uh, thank, thank you, you. Karis, the ever, ever ready and always prepared. Yeah. Um, on the bottom row, Miss Alice was played for us tonight by Sarah as she is every week. Uh, first of all, holy crap, what a night for Miss Alice. Yeah. Oh, you want to talk about that for a second? Alice might care a little bit more than she lets on. <laughs> yeah, might is, yeah. is the is the only word in that sentence that didn't need to be there. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Look, she couldn't tell it. She couldn't tell him. No, of course know? not. She can't no, tell people not. she cares. Nope. She's Alice and Jet sitting in a tree. S-I-T-T-I-N-G. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, yep. <laughs> oh, that is wonderful. Oh, how uh, and um, <laughs> speaking of which, uh, for that scene, I would like you and Jet to take a legend chip, please. That was amazing. Uh, and so we're going to do Jet Sky next because um, you said at the break, I almost made you cry, but I let you get off. I got to ask you in that second section, there's a, uh, a, a lady sitting right next to you on that screen there. I think she got you closer than I did, didn't she? 
It, yeah, I mean, the whole, it was just the whole scene. Everything about that finally welled up, and it was, I don't want to pat myself on the back and say it was beautiful. Oh, go ahead. Oh, that was, uh, that was intense. And then now we've got, I mean, this was an interesting trip because first the magic's gone, and then, and I mean this in no ill intent. This is just the yep. way it happened. My role as it felt in this place walking around that corner seeing what I already kind of had suspicions of that Baptiste already does what I do five times better, if not 10 times better. And now it's like, whereas Miss Alice has started to, you know, finally care, Jed is finally starting to not. Jed is at the point where he's like, I don't belong here. This is not. Uh, I know. I love so. this dynamic. It is amazing. Um and that's why I was so happy when Baphomet appeared in front of you because Can't we're starting next week where you have to decide whether you're going to care or die. I might do right. both. Yeah, you might. <laughs> uh, while I've got you, uh, you are our uh, Mercs of Mischief YouTube genius. Uh, what's happened there recently? Um, on that. We recently posted, and it will be reposted for musical reasons, but we recently posted our one-shot Tricks for Toots, which was a hilarious little Halloween one-shot. I know it's January, but bear with me. Uh, apparently, we, we also have a lot of our other one-shots that will be posted to YouTube. So, you nice. know, the one with Arcady Cosplay, stuff like that. And we always have our weekly stuff here from deadlands uh, you can catch up on too many warlocks and mercs of mischief and we'll be starting fresh with that in february again and if this sounds like a lot of fun to you folks out there in viewer land um you can actually do this you can play with us uh you can pick which of us you want to play with in fact uh, it's that cool all you have to do is go to our patreon page and uh, get in there at a level uh, and uh, at a certain level, you get to come play with us. We had two last month, and that's and then this month's version is uh, this month's session is coming up again. And it's great and joyous and wonderful fun. And the really cool part with this is you don't get to see the videos unless you're a patron. So you don't get to see what happens uh, when uh, this is. Oh, there we go. I didn't know. I didn't want to be the spoiler, but I don't have to. Guy and his interns are in a world of trouble, and it's going to get um, it's going to get bizarre. And yeah, they will be posted very very soon. I am sure, but only the patrons can see them. So pop into that. I haven't forgot you. Way down there at the end. Uh, Lucius played by Lesimax. Um, you have you're doing a thing, you're doing a weird thing. Why don't you tell us about your weird thing? Wait a minute, let me rephrase that. No, you better talk. I should stop. <laughs> As always, I'm always doing something weird and horror themed. In October, I did a haunted house. December, you probably didn't know this, I joined a Krampus group, but now, uh, I'm part of a acting troupe. And the production is called The Hall of Horrors. So what we, it's sort of a horror, um, how should I put this? It's uh, a night out to watch horror and we do like skits in between. There's live bands and drinking. It's a lot of fun. Um, the show that we're, that we're showing is actually 1987's cult film, uh, Lost Boys. So, and we do silly, Horror skits in between. <laughs> I, I didn't know that part. Um, Edmonton used to say, right? Uh, uh huh. It's like a 10 hour bus so, ride. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, for our Edmonton, for to see for Lost Boys, that's um, almost worth it. Well, it, for our American viewers, if you just happen to be around on the 25th, uh, come see it. And for, <laughs> for our friends in Edmonton and around the area, come check it out. I'll send a link uh, through the chat. Take a wonderful thank you and truly awesome and i don't usually toot my own horn but i'm going to just for a little bit uh tonight two nights from now over on my brand new twitch channel dirty 20 gaming uh as the name is in the 
in the links and such. Uh, we are going to meet and three friends of mine who are not these people. I have three other friends who I game with. Uh, and uh, we are going to play Iron Sworn. creators co-creators of a world because we're starting this campaign no bad guy no plot and no plan and that will all be generated by the mechanics in the game and our role play so if you want to see that and a really different game mechanic than you see either here in deadlands or in the regular DD streams that you might watch um Amala has a plan. Of course she does. Uh, <laughs> but this is um, this is going to be a lot of fun because it's four people working together to build a story that they're in. So I'm really looking forward to this. And I would really appreciate it if you popped in and had a look on Thursday night. Um, other than that, back to this channel because it's amazing. Uh, go to our Discord. Go to our website. Go to our wiki. It's all out there. Go to our YouTube. It's all there. You can get a hold of us in many different ways. Come and have a chat. Join the fun. And with that, we'll shoot you next week. Bye. This is a song about Nate the Necromancer. All the ladies loved him. He was a neck. Romancer, wing wong wombi, it's a skeleton and zombie and the ghoul and the gasp and the vampire song. Nate got married to his goth girl wife, had five daughters, lived a happy, happy life. Wing wong wombi, it's a skeleton and zombie and the ghoul.